hier wieder. Kaufen. Oh, shit. Fuck. Hi, guys. Already in here. Uh. Conifer, Roxas, Glitch, Go, Shadow, Strike. Hi, everybody. How you doing? Crack, crack. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Okay. I have a tasty white hot chocolate. I got some art in front of me. I've got a video we can listen to that I thought might be interesting. Thank God my tablet works. Or pen. Fuck. You ever like sit down to draw and then you pick up your pen and you're like, oh great. It's not charged. I do that a lot. <sighs> so how y'all doing? Having a good uh, December? That's what month it is now, right? December? Lucy Vass, Toki, uh, Toki Pico, Nick's Arts. Hi, Con. I was already watching a stream and then your notification came up on Twitch and I immediately clicked because I don't really want to watch that guy. That's fair. Sometimes you just watch things because like it's convenient. This was fun. Um, I'm all right. I slept t today in preparation for potential streamage, so that's good. Won't be too exhausted. Uh, and I came up with a video that we could listen to while I'm doing it, because people have sort of been re-talking about the art commentary community as it used to exist. And I was like, you know what? I know a particular set of videos that amounts to four hours, which is usually around the amount of time that I stream. So that could always be interesting. Hey Ginger Tom, Hexomancy, hey Imaginary Shadow. Hello, I may not be active much right now due to trying to get some sleep before I go to work at 12 a.m. my time. I will still lurk. Well, I hope you enjoy your lurking. Hello, hello, B, tis the holidays. Yes, my mom and I were actually just driving around uh, the neighborhood looking at holiday lights because they're great at this time of year. And because my dog likes car rides. So, like, you know, excuses, excuses. Uh, could you turn myself I cannot turn myself up but I can move the microphone closer to me <sighs> how's that I don't know how long that's gonna work for me it's very close to my face sorry I'm not terribly loud tonight I apologize for this I guess we just have to get me excited so I start screaming more <laughs> hydrate myself I have <sighs> water and white hot chocolate nom, 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 nom. this is more of a simplified art style than usual for any reasons uh yeah these chibis i have to do a lot of them in a short period of time so it's just easier to make them chibins like you've seen me use these in my videos before like like uh this see the ones that i did for eternity and the ones that I did for Avi. I've just got more to do. That's what happens. You gotta make assets for videos. So I'm doing that. Anyways, the thing that I thought we could listen to, I want to see how many people remember this. So I'm only gonna play a very, very small section 
for like a second to see how many of you guys get flashbacks. <laughs> The fucking <laughs> Oh the flashbacks The flashbacks It's uh it's interesting seeing you guys have your little Vietnam flashbacks. Did not expect to be blasted with dreams of an absolution Sonic ninety three edition when opening the stream. You're welcome. Yes, I'm drawing Nezzy. Because Nezzy did some line reads for me, and I need little spriteys for them. I already did, um, where were we? Ba -ba -ba. I did this one for Caden, because he does, like, one line exactly. But I have another video that I'm probably going to have to record more sprites for him, or draw more sprites. And then I did a bunch for Mako, because Mako's been doing some lines for me. So, da -da 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 -da. I like this one. Da, 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 da. <laughs> that one's also fun. Uh, excite. <sighs> and now I'm working on the Nizzy ones. Nizzy, Niz, 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 Nizzy. That's the wrong. Oh, right. I already did that one for Nizzy. Ba, 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 ba. What was that song? Yes, that song... I don't know what the song is, unfortunately. Uh, maybe some of you guys in the chat know what the song is, because I certainly don't. I just know what it comes from. Which is... You can't see it yet. Hang on. Uh, da, 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 da. Nope. That's not... Nope. Shit. I don't know what I'm doing. Hang on. Can't see what I'm looking at. Okay, there it is. Why wasn't the thingy for Clip Studio showing up? Uh, which monitor is that? Uh, nope, that didn't help. <laughs> Fucking. Can you tell that I'm good at this? Because I. Oh, I'm not. Fuck. Oh, why do I even try? Clip Studio. Oh, no. Okay. There we go. Fucking hell. Can you tell I'm not good at this? It's Dreams of an Absolution, Ib vs. JS Remix. Interesting. I like Mako Stills. Do they have a channel? I don't know. I will have to ask Mako. Uh, I've got an editor working on a video that she did a bunch of uh, lines for. So you'll get to see the stills in that once I'm done with them. Aha. I'm enraged that Sonic 93 used that song as her intro because it's my favorite version of the song. I mean, clearly she liked it as well. Oh, thank you for subscribing, Shadow Strike. That's very sweet of you. I hope I can live up to your expectations. <laughs> it's a great stream for chilling and eating to rest from the work week. Great Rotty, or Goat Rotty, sorry, and BBT for the win? What's BBT? Or is that supposed to be barbecue? Where's the Q in comparison? Nope, not even close. Never mind. Hi guys, so I thought we could refresh ourselves on the horror while I do some art, just because, like, why not? Why not? Ugh. 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 Realistically, I should have, like, hmm... What if I put this in, like, a tiny little thing in the corner, actually? Maybe that- hang on, that might be a better idea. Hang on, I'm gonna- I'm gonna fiddle with this for a second. Uh, da da uh, da 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 and then- fuck, uh, and I'm gonna move this- oh, oh, come on, over here. 
and then we're gonna add a source uh go like that one uh yes uh hang on where I got yes that's it okay and then we're gonna do kind of like it. Oh no! Mm. Wait, I think. Hello. Oh, okay. I think that's working. Done. Oh. Hello. Here we go. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. I think I got this. I got this. I got this. Actually, no. We're gonna put you over here. <laughs> is this the fable drama of old yes yes i thought we people have been discussing how toxic and horrible the old art ranting community was so i thought maybe we could go revisit the gory days and no i didn't say that wrong <laughs> it uh it was not a good time for artists it was a time when everything you did in order to have fun was cringy, if you weren't doing every single piece specifically geared towards improving your art, you were a terrible person who would never amount to anything in their lives. You have no context, we, oh, you're, you're in for a fucking treat. There was a good time for artists. I don't know, maybe like when Michelangelo existed. They seemed to like artists back then. I'm pretty sure they got paid for their work back then. Or there's like, or they're like tales of Michelangelo getting stiffed on a, what did Michelangelo do? Fuck, sculpture. I'm sure there's probably tales of that somewhere. Forgot about being, yes, being original was like the highest thing and if you actually no being original was like the required base and if you weren't original based on the arbitrary standards of people who already demonstrated that they don't like you uh you'd be screwed basically it was a time when only the the strong were able to survive by which i mean Usually you had to make a rant on somebody to prove that you knew how to not be cringy, I assume. Did Michelangelo ever get paid an exposure? I, you know what? He very well might have. At least back then it would have, like, made maybe a little more sense. When there weren't, like, a zillion artists acting as your competition. That seems like it would be a little difficult. Okay. Hi, Susie. Do you know? Do I know what? Wait, isn't Sonic 93 a hypocrite? Like, I remember her getting mad at the... Oh, yeah, Sonic 93 was very possessive over Silver the Hedgehog. Um, to... I mean... You could probably say that Silver the Hedgehog was a hyperfixation. Is this chat protected right now? Uh, uh, you mean with that shield mode thing? It's not? Should I turn it on? I'm scared of AI art. Can we talk about that? Will we get replaced? Theoretically, we'll all be replaced someday or another. And I, for one, embrace our new robot overlords. <laughs> Please bang me, Robo Daddy. <sighs> Who is Sonic 93? Because I've only heard stories. We're gonna watch the video. You'll get to see. You'll get to see what Sonic 93 put out into the world. 
It'll it'll be a fucking treat. I promise. The thing is, our nuisance from... Oh, great. Okay, shield mode, I guess. Shield mode is on. Cool. Interesting, okay. <laughs> Probably getting some robotic steam from Steam Daddy 6900. <laughs> Shit. Okay, so are you guys um, excited? I don't know if you're ready to handle this. Can I move this over here? Yeah, wow, okay. And it just doesn't show up. Cool, brilliant, I love it. Okay, we're gonna move this. Um, how am I gonna organize this? Figured I'd warn you since Crafty has been dealing with it the past few days. Oh, that's not fair. Okay. Let's see what we got. Uh, I might need to turn down the volume on this, we'll see. Hey guys, this is Arkham Emperor in Amy Chan. This nope, I had to turn the volume up on it. Okay, well, okay. Uh, let's maybe fix my output there. Yeah, desktop audio, make it a little higher because, God, the audio is terrible, especially right after that really loud opening. Like that, what, like, is such a nuisance when people can't balance audio. Like, I get it, it was forever ago, but like, if you can't balance the audio, just don't put the loud ass song in. Ugh. This time, the rant's not about the actual series. Instead, this is a rant on a person known on Divine Art. Her name is Akai. No to Akai fans and Akai herself. We're not gonna call her names or anything like that. We're just gonna rant about what we know and have seen from her. So if you're an Akai fan- Yeah, because calling her names is like the worst possible thing that you could do, I guess. <laughs> We're not gonna call her names, they're just gonna do everything but call her names. That, that still leaves a, a lot of other things that you could do. I mean... And please don't be offended. We don't hate Akai herself. We both think that she is a good artist. Okay, so we're gonna start out with who Akai generally is known as. Akai is a well-known artist on Divine Art. She first got popular from her sonata- that, that was something I specifically remember, was <laughs> pronouncing it Divine Art. It's like... How, how long had Amy Chan been on DeviantArt pronouncing it Divine Art? <laughs> or is there just uh, like some additional DeviantArt-esque website called Divine Art that I've never heard of? That would be hilarious. I would love that. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Wait, art. And for her Sonato comic called Sonic the Vampire. She's also known as a Sonic Shadow fangirl, but is more of a Sonic fangirl. She also has a Sonic fan character, who is also called Akai, who she pairs up with Sonic and Shadow sometimes. Her character will be one of the main topics of this rant. As you might know, Akai portrays her character as, in a way, a flawless character, doesn't really have a personality, and making Sonic acting all obsessed with her. Can, can, can we appreciate that this is someone's, like, original character slash self-insert, that they're probably just drawing, like, gushy pictures of them over on like their deviant art account like when i'm drawing my own characters i'm not specifically listing everything about their personality in the pieces some pieces depending on what they're doing you might be able to tell their personality a little more so than others is it's just <laughs> it seems so weird there's some of my projects for art class so i'm able to vibe to the fullest extent i hope you enjoy the vibe and background noise Batman this sounds like it was recorded in the bathroom I mean for all we know it was this was this was a wild time yeah OCX Canon bad 
Which is so weird because, like, a lot of the time, the original characters that people create for whatever TV show they, they want, even if they don't tell you that it's a self-insert, like, nine times out of ten, it's a self-insert. <laughs> but, like, w we hide it behind this guise of, like, oh, no, I don't, I don't do that, I don't do that, I don't do that. We all fucking did that. And, like, some of us get better at hiding our, uh hiding the nature of some of these stories but like not everybody does and i feel like the people who can't do that effectively shouldn't be shamed for just wanting to indulge in the things that they like i'm late what's the stream about we're having a blast from the past rotten ruru we're watching sonic or amy chan and sonic 93 not son amy that's something entirely different <laughs> Some people record in closets, I guess. I've known people who recorded in closets. It's uh, it's a thing that they do to get around limitations. Characters with not much written about them ushers away to my toy house. <laughs> That's okay. I have a lot of stuff about my characters. I just never got around to actually doing the fucking comics. <sighs> she makes Sonic have a love at first sight kind of thing with her character. Even if her character does something, such as slap him or yell at him, he still continues to be obsessed. Isn't this from, like, Sonic the Vampire? Couldn't, like, the argument just be, like, this just seems like a Twilight ripoff. He's, like, specifically attracted to her blood. Mmm, taste- I don't know what's drawing me in. Well, maybe it has something to do with the fact that you're a goddamn vampire, man. I- <laughs> I don't know. When did Twilight come out? It was a Kai Dahlia, a Twilight fangirl. I bet, I bet, I bet my bottom dollar. Now the main. Plus, I think in general, like, there's just that appeal with vampires. Like, I, I know a lot of monster fuckers are really into vampires. Problems with Akai's character is that she just makes her out to be Mary Sueish, but at the same time, her personality is completely flat. Uh. My argument as to whether or not she's a Mary Sue uh, is going to be the exact same as my argument with regards to her lack of personality as perceived through the limited pictures and they're in limited, limited context. Um, it would have been interesting to know if Akai Dahlia had, uh, had like a, uh, I don't know, a reference sheet of the character where she described her personality that so many people on DeviantArt used to do around that time. That would have been great to have for, for something like this. But, uh, no, no, I guess rather than just taking it from the word of the artists themselves, we will just, uh, you know, pass off our lack of ability to interpret this random artist's characters as what her personality is actually like. That, that makes a lot of sense. I'm sure... I'm... <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. I know a lot of monster fuckers that are really into vampires slowly walks into the corner. It's okay. I see you. I may not appreciate vampires the way you guys do, but I, I guess I can understand it. I mean, it's basically just being attracted to a dude with sharp teeth. <laughs> or a girl with sharp teeth. Also, wouldn't every character technically be a bad or a self-character insert if every artist or writer part parts a part of themselves puts a part of themselves in their characters? I'm sorry, that was difficult for me. Um, yeah, you could argue that. I would argue maybe like, except in instances where people create like antagonists that are supposed to be like the exact opposite of themselves, but. Usually, I think that still re includes a little bit of self-reflection. So, yeah, technically speaking, you could classify any artist's characters, any of their characters, probably as self-inserts to some degree. Or, if not necessarily self-inserts, um, idealized objects. Like, if someone is doing a self-insert, and it's like they're, they've got like a love interest, that love in interest is probably like an idealized object. Only in that it's not real, not in that they're objectifying a person. You know what I mean. <clears throat> so more like an idealized fantasy, I guess. It's just the sharp teeth strength and hella old, so any Oni or Ogre mostly. <laughs> That's fair. At one point, she seems to be the innocent type. 
But then she acts flirty. Then she acts tough. Then back to being innocent again. Don't forget that when she's drawing her character paired up with Sonic, almost all of it looks like Sinemi. And like, fucking... So, an innocent person is never allowed to flirt? Or like... Oh, okay. I feel like... These traits are not... You do, they don't need to be mutually exclusive. You can have a person that, like, her personality move maybe not personality moves around, but, like, there are people who, like, become a certain way in front of certain people. Like, like, like that's a thing. This just seems like a really dumb thing to get worked up over. Which brings up the biggest problem that we have for her character. She both looks and acts like Amy Rose. Although not too long ago, she was making herself clear that she doesn't hate Amy Rose anymore. But recently, she's not a hater again. Oh, she even no. drew her character and- God forbid somebody dislike a character from a show. Lord knows, when, you, when you're watching a TV show, you have to like every single fucking character or you're a bad person. You're not allowed to dislike a character. <laughs> That's illegal! And Amy Rose getting along. But when she said she hated her again not too long ago, she deleted it. The main reason why she hates Amy- Maybe it has something to do with the fact that she was just pretending to like Amy because people were getting on her ass for not liking Amy. <laughs> wow, could that have been it? I don't know. Rose is because Amy's love for Sonic. Although she doesn't mind Sonic with other fan characters. But for some reason, when it's Amy- Yeah, that would be fucking hypocritical. Like, of course she's gonna be upset over the character in canon who gets to actually fawn over Sonic. Why would she get upset over, like, other people making fan characters so they can do the exact same thing that she's doing? It's almost like a Kaidalia was minding her fucking business. <laughs> and, like, can we- can we fucking appreciate that the- the fan character they bring up as an example looks- like a female Sonic, but they're getting on a Kai for making an Amy Rose ripoff. But they're like, oh yeah, Sonic and Blue Heart, that's totally fine. <laughs> I'm just, oh, that's uh. <sighs> Uh... Amy Rose with Sonic, Akai despises it. She even hates Sally for the same thing, too. Yeah, so another character within canon who actually gets to love and adore Sonic, and Akai is jealous of her. Is jealousy really not a concept that these two can grasp? It's kind of funny how she hates a character and a couple, yet she makes her character the same thing with the same guy. Whenever she draws her character with Sonic, her character acts just like how Amy Rose would be. But Akai insists that her character is nothing but like- I, I thought you said that, that fucking Akai was flirty and she tried to be tough. So, so, one, you're saying that Amy Rose also is innocent, flirty, and tries to be tough. But you said those were bad things. And if, if Amy is supposed to be innocent, why is she flirty? Wouldn't that separate a Kai from her? It's fucking... I thought you said that her personality was flat and didn't make sense, and then you listed, like, a bunch of aspects about her personality that you're now saying are the exact same as Amy Rose? The canon character that you're like, yeah, that character's totally fine. Huh? Huh? like her. But to us, Akai's character looks like an older version of Amy Rose. Or she was just drawn in a different style. Especially with the green eyes and dark pink color. The eyes is no big deal. But when you combine with pink fur color and species hedgehog, sounds like someone's trying to replace Amy Rose. But again, Blue Heart, you just provided a picture of a character that looked like a female Sonic. What? Oh no! I was used to get Sonic to me. And a while ago, Akai's character had a sword as a weapon. But recently, in another comic she's working on now, her character now has a hammer. Doesn't that sound a bit odd? 
And were people missing? It mis- really just sounds like a Kai Dahlia was projecting onto Amy Rose, but Amy didn't fit what she wanted, so she made a self-insert original character that fit what she wanted. It's not a bad thing for somebody to do that. I feel like that is sort of how a lot of artists make their characters. Like, I've seen artists before, and I've definitely done this before, where they, like, an original character starts out as a character that they had a hyperfixation on, and then they're like, I want to use this for my own, so I have to change it into something that matches, like, my own individualistic style. Like, I did this a lot as a kid, um, and I think kids just generally aren't good at it because they can't recognize how recognizable the characters are. Uh, but as they, you know, start to open up their eyes to the rest of the world, they get a little better at it, and they manage to hide their inspirations a lot better. Uh, then the inspirations more become, like, footnotes that inform, uh, how a character is designed rather than a direct basis for where a whole design originates. I always thought she was a cat or something. She does look a little more like a cat. But not a cat from the Sonic world perspective, because I've seen cats from Sonic, and they don't look like Kai looks. Maybe, like, if a Kai was a lynx? Some sort of cat with long ears, maybe. She definitely doesn't look like a hedgehog, but also she doesn't have a tail, so... One of the ranters sound like Harley TBS. Oh, no! Wouldn't that be a fucking blast? Like, Harley turns out to be, like, a ranter from 2009. I'm back, bitches! (laughs) That would be, um, crazy. Sorry, one sec. I'm doing things. It's hard to do art and also pay attention to the stupid... Okay. I've done this. I made a child version of a canon character for a roleplay, and since they looked slash acted different enough, I turned them into an OC when I realized they have potential. Yes! I feel like a lot of us do this in some way, shape, or form. Like, everybody has different ways of making characters, and I feel like that's just a very popular one that nobody seems to want to acknowledge is a popular one. I'm taking a shot in your honor, B. Though, thank you for sacrificing your gray hairs and sanity for us. You're welcome. You're welcome. As my hairs just plop off my head. Poom, 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 poom. Ah. She stuff like that. She just makes excuses, like a hammer thingy. She just puts other examples of other people having the same weapon. But the problem with that excuse... But it's, if it's totally fine for you to use an example of another character fucking being uh, the girl version of Sonic, but that's fine. But what a Kai Dahlia is doing is not fine because she's a Kai Dahlia and Amy is sacred. Is that the proof that she shows for it are characters for a completely different series, not Sonic related at all. I mean, actually, considering one of the people here is named Amy Chan, I feel like they projected onto Amy and they felt attacked because Akai doesn't like Amy, but also made, like, an Amy self-insert. And they're just like, that's bad! She said she doesn't like Amy! She lied! It's like, oh my god, get a- get the fuck over yourself. Although I've been once trying to talk sense with her and make her understand what makes her character look like Amy Rose, she just thought I was oppressing her and hating her character. Don't- Who cares if her character looks like A.B. Rose? Your fucking self-insert looks like Shat- not Shadow, uh, Silver. It just looks like a female human version of Silver, and you're like, original character. Ah! I don't know if we'll get to see that in the Sakai series, but that was like Sonic 93's character. They had like a self-insert human that looks like a female version of Silver. He's just like, okay, we get it. You project onto Silver a lot. I made it clear that I don't. If Akai changed her character's fur color, I think it would look original. But she just refuses to, and she doesn't say why. Makes me think of when I asked her that, all she said was something like this. Everyone can have see- Fucking... You're not gonna change your original character to match my arbitrary expectations? Give me a good fucking reason. Okay, Amy. <laughs> Okay. Oh, uh, these art Karens. That's what they are. They're, they're just fucking art Karens. 
deep words. I don't have to tell you anything. Not exactly those words, since your English is not the best, but if you're gonna translate, it'd be something like that. But I don't get it. What exactly is so secret about not wanting to change your character, or hating Amy Rose? Well, it's perfectly clear that she hates her because of Sonic and make your character look and act like her. Heck, she even has the same weapon as her. But the funniest part is, she doesn't want to do anything about it. Like, she won't make her character act and look less like Amy Rose. And she hates her, right? So why make your character act like someone you hate? You can give your character her own personality. Don't give her three or four different ones at the same time. <laughs> And also, many times she has drawn her character, she always has to- ones that even according to them, is just like Amy. So Amy has three or four different personalities. But it's bad for Kai to do it. It's almost like people behave differently in different contexts, and like, the human personality is multifaceted. And you can't just pick, like, one trait to be like, that's the kid. Like, this is- this is what, like, Saturday morning cartoons have taught us, that all characters have one trait, and that is them forever and always. And, like, any any nuance to their personality doesn't exist. Uh, but I think we all know that's not how human beings work. We are all multifaceted, three-dimensional organisms with the capacity to grow and learn and be defensive and be passive and assertive. Uh, it just depends on our ability to do the extent of that based on how we were raised or other factors like fears or prejudices or, you know, all the jazz. Human beings, yeah, yeah, your personality doesn't change from infancy to old age. It's like J.K. Rowling being in all like, yeah, whatever you are when you're 11, that's what you're going to be for the rest of your life. <laughs> okay. She doesn't explain why she won't change the color. Maybe because this might be a stretch. She doesn't want to. Yeah, exactly. Th this was like a, a time for very... I remember the art community, or the art ranting community, being very entitled. Where they're like, if I do a rant on you, if you don't change to match the specifics of the rant, that means you're bad and you can't take criticism. But like, motherfucker, did anyone say they wanted your criticism? Why do, you, why do you think that just because you give someone criticism that requires them to change to suit what you think they should be? Like, get the fuck over yourself. Honey! Ridiculous, thank you. To make her look so revealing. A lot of oh, how dare she be sexual. That thing that you'd said was fucking... The, I thought you said she was just like Amy, but she's also clearly sexual. And she has drawn her character in suggestive poses while making Sonic perverted for her. So let's see. Akai is basically. Because yeah, it's like people want to fantasize about the character they're attracted to looking at them and being like, damn, she fucking hot though. Portrayed as a sex toy for Sonic. And for those who's making up an excuse for the couple while saying at least she doesn't act obsessed with Sonic, she makes the opposite. That's even worse. <laughs> it's bad for people to want their obsession to be obsessed with them, too. I I'm talking about this in, like, the fictional sense, obviously. Don't do that to real-life people, because that's weird. That's fucking weird, bro! Which makes me think of that Akai barely draws her character to give Sonic affection. It's mostly Sonic that does it. And by the way, those of us like Sonic Amy but Sonic Akai, can you really see Sonic so attached to a person like that when he's supposed to be the free spirit type of person? You know what else that makes her character more Amy Rosa like? How she portrays her character with Sonic and Shadow together, aka the triangle couple. Wait, you, you keep saying more Amy Rose like. So is that true? You were inferring that the flirtatious thing is a thing that Amy does? Ah. Uh... Even when she pairs her character up with Shadow, she still makes Sonic in love with her. Yeah, fucking. Yeah. It, that, that's how the love triangle works. <laughs> Again, was Akai Dalia just a fucking Twilight fan? Because... I mean... 
That's what it seems like. No offense to Akai, but when you made stuff like that with your character, you make your portrayed it to be a slut. Oh no! But when someone says this, and God forbid someone be a slut. Oh my God! Don't you know this is a Christian deviant art? Deviant art. Deviant art. <laughs> Like, I think we all know there's much worse things than a Kaidalia on fucking DeviantArt. To her, she always denies it, even drawing a picture of her character crying about it while being comforted by Sonic and Shadow. Which makes her character- How dare you draw a vent piece because people were attacking you for just drawing yourself insert gushing over the characters you like and wanting them to gush over you in turn. You heathen! more of a Mary Sue. Oh my god! Everything she does makes her more and more of a fucking Mary Sue. Yeah, not characters being polyamorous. Oh my god! I don't understand how you have any brain left. Be all my brain cells died from this again. The art helps. <laughs> Another thing we have a problem with is her fans. They are always saying that her character is beautiful, that she's way better than Amy Rose, that Sonic loves her, and Oh so my on. god, she's getting blamed for having a fan base that likes her character. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> ah! Ah, I'm not high enough for this. Oh. Basically, they like a ripoff better than the original character. And they don't yeah, maybe because Akai's specific changes to the Amy Rose format appeals to them and they are projecting onto Akai equally. Like, did fucking... Oh my god. Half the time, the reason self-inserts become popular is because, like, people who can't draw or can't formulate their thoughts also project onto the self-insert. So that's why they fucking like the artwork, because it allows them to live out similar fantasies through their ability to project onto the character. So if, if fucking Akai is popular, that means other girls or boys, potentially, are projecting onto the character and looking at Akai and go- And it's like that fucking Denji meme is like, He's- he really, really like me, bro! He for real like me! It's fucking- Human beings are wild. I was staring out at a patch of grass when we were going to Tim Hortons to get some white hot chocolate. And you know what I saw in the patch of grass? I saw- like, what looked like some sort of mashup character from the Dark Crystal with, like, the Chili Down Gang from, um, the Labyrinth. Like, it kind of looked like if, if one of the Chili Gang was Agra's son. <laughs> but, like, that doesn't exist on the grass. My brain just saw a bunch of patterns and then pieced it together into something that looked cohesive to me, and it came up with, like, a whole fucking character design. Like, the human brain is wild. We can take lines and colors on a screen and convince us that it's a person. These are not fucking people. What I am drawing, these are not people. These are just lines that I have arranged in order to make your brain think that it's a person. How wild is that? So, like... If people like Akai, it's probably because they are able to project onto Akai because it makes them think of themselves. And they're allowed to live out their fantasies with Sonic through the artwork that Akai was making. So, like, if anything, the the hatred against Akai wasn't just an, at an attack on Akai, it was an attack on every single person who liked and projected onto that artwork. Like, how fucking wild is that? The human brain is insane. You know, it could still do with some upgrades, but that's just so I can get more work done. Or they could just be uh, just like her because they think she's cute. That's another completely valid reason. A lot of the time, the... The characters that people like are usually based on, like, projecting onto the character, being attracted to the character, or viewing the character as, like, an idol. Those are, like, some of the three main things. Obviously, you can like characters for other reasons, but I feel like it usually falls into those three categories to some degree.
got them late. What we discussing? Uh, fucking Sonic ninety three and Amy Chan's uh, videos on Akai Dahlia. We keep pausing though, and it's like four hours long, so I feel like we're gonna be here for a while. Oh my god, we're only six minutes in. Fucking end me. I either. And whenever someone doesn't like Akai, they always act so fan bratish about it, saying typical things like they're just jealous of her. Yeah, maybe it has something to do with the fact that all the people who don't like Akai are, like, ax ash like actual assholes. So people, like, feel the need to defend something that they like because they're defending them against people who, like, whose arguments don't even make any fucking sense. Like, oh, she's just like Amy. Also, her personality is flat and dumb and th these three traits don't go together and change her, change her, change her. It's like, maybe you guys have no fucking idea what you're talking about. Did you ever think of that? No, of course not. They always have the such attitude towards those who doesn't like Akai. Not to mention they've been doing lots of journals almost every time she gets in trouble with her haters. <laughs> but for some reason- <laughs> Oh, Akai is getting in trouble with the people actively hating on her. How dare her fans come to her aid? Like, you just acknowledge they're haters. Isn't the, the whole point of haters is that they're just hating something to be dicks? Like, who identifies as a hater of blah blah blah? Like, why can't you just be like, yeah, I'm not a fan of this thing. Why- who ad actively identifies as a hater? Ah, uh, excuse me. I doesn't seem to notice it. She acts like everyone hates her. Like, she doesn't even appreciate what her fans do for her. <laughs> she has more fans than- Yeah, you've got people calling you unoriginal and, like, constantly demanding that you change your character, but why aren't you just have Like, why aren't you just happy for what you have? D oh. Oh. What are we talking about today? Sonic 93 and Amy Chan. And haters. Also, the fans seem to accept or like Akai, whatever she's doing. Like recently, she's been saying that she doesn't like Snap anymore and said that she wasn't going to continue that song for Vampire comic. Then not too long ago, she said she's going to continue it just because of not going to leave the comic unfinished and she still says she hates Sonato. Akai, do you even know what your comic combines of? A pregnant Sonic guy paired up with another guy which is a couple you hate. What does that have to do with people accepting Akai's choices? Well, for an example, agreeing with her hate for Amy, agreement for loving Sonato, and then when she changes her mind, they still accept her and support her regardless. Oh my god, how dare Akai have a fan base that supports her choices as an artist? How fucking dare she? <laughs> Also, Akai, Sonic, and Shadow had the same child. Some people said it was weird, but overly, they liked the picture. They didn't even bother asking how would it be possible for a child to have two fathers with one mother. It's a fantasy. Who fucking cares? Like, Sonic got pregnant. Who, fu who fucking cares? <laughs> All this change she does mostly with her character is very questionable about what kind of a person Akai really is. Like, she has a sort of... What? Her expressing her artistic fantasies about having multiple guys crushing on her and getting pregnant with both of those guys and the three of them living in this happy polyamorous sex relationship is question question questioning her integrity as a person wow fucking Wow! This whole video is just tell me you're jealous without telling me you're jealous. Exactly. Yeah, they're psycho- they're psychoanalyzing her. <laughs> oh my god, this is fucking interesting, that's for sure. The weapon, then changed into hammer, yet she gets protected by Sonic and Shadow. But wait a minute. Isn't that guy supposed to be a strong character with her sword or that hammer? Oh my or... god, a girl wants to be strong but also wants to be protected by the guys that she's into? Weird. I've I fucking never heard about that. Bella. Anybody? Again? Maybe? 
Miss, I, I am a strong, independent woman. Oh my god, I got into shit that's too big for me. Come save me, vampire boyfriend. Ah! <sighs> She's supposed to be flirty or innocent. Akai doesn't really make up her mind with that, since she decides to change it a lot. Can't decide if she wants to be flirty or innocent. Also, apparently the exact same as Amy Rose. So, you are confirming to us that Amy Rose's personality is fluid and changes. But it's bad for Kai to do it. Which makes her personality more flat. Oh my- Kai, okay, you really need- You can't be- You can't be- She's innocent and flirty and tough. And also her personality changes constantly, but her personality is flat. It doesn't, it doesn't exist. Oh my god. Wor do you know what words are? Do you know what words mean? to make it clear on what personality your character is you can't just change it every time it makes it more confusing it's almost like her personality or like at what aspects of her personality shine through changes on the s fucking situation like i can talk some mad shit when i'm hidden away in my computer room but like put me out in the crowd and i'm gonna sink away until uh, there's nothing left of me that's just how i work it's almost like your personality aspects fucking come out depending on the situation weird ow hello i be Beppis. how you doing there's valid answers for all of these um akai you're writing sonic m preg transgender men exist you, you can't pair her with multiple characters she's polyamorous how do they have two dads and one mom adoption or poly with one partner yeah very well i mean I, I know Akai's characters did not actually do that. It was supposed to be that they were both actually genetically related to the baby. But the response to that is, it's a fucking fantasy. Get over yourself. Insert Sonic thing that isn't realistic. You know what isn't realistic? A bipedal blue talking hedgehog that can outrun the speed of light. Exactly. What she's like when she's on her own. Don't just make her something for Sonic to drool over. So, if you can summarize all this... Akai is a really good artist, but needs to improve in some things. She hasn't improved her attitude a bit since before, but still remains how Did she's handling- Did they actually, at any point in this video, say that she's a good artist up until now? <laughs> the situation she's in. Right now, she just needs The to situation having... she's in? You mean a bunch of people hating her character for no fucking reason? Like, they act like this situation was something of her making and not just people deciding they don't like her and that's her fault. It, uh, uh, oh. In a hateful attitude about Amy Rose only because of Sonic, stop making Sonic so out of character. Make your character actually have a personality. Oh my and god, not just stop being jealous. Stop doing this thing that can change depending on who's writing the character. Like, people haven't complained about that from the adult writers of other Sonic games. Saying or like comics saying like oh my god Sonic doesn't ask, act like this like shut the fuck up you're all all of your interpretations of Sonic are gonna be completely different. Um. Oh yeah, change your character to match our arbitrary bullshit stuff, but we're just saying because we don't like you and we don't like the fact that this character is popular, despite the fact that apparently other people are allowed to do the exact same fucking thing that you're doing that we say that we don't like. And we're, we'll use them as examples to put you in your put you in your place. You fucking oh my god! There's something to stare at, and especially change stop wanting people to think that you're hot. <laughs> stop being jealous of Amy Rose. Just stop. I'm sure that's how human brains work. Just just tell yourself to stop, and you'll do it. Just, just fucking have have fun. Your character's fur color. Akai. We have nothing against you, but if you can do these things Press that we said, doubt. we will have more respect for you. Press X to doubt. And just generally, people won't criticize you and your character that much. Press X to exactly. doubt. Exactly. If you really want people to leave you alone, then you have to do something about it. Oh my god, they're actively like acknowledging at the end here that people are just fucking going after Akai, and then they unironically try to be all like, this situation that she she's in. You mean, you, like, you acknowledge that this basically is not her fucking fault. <sighs> and just appreciate that your fans are there for you. It'll give you more okay. better- Just appreciate that your fans are there for you, but also listen to our criticisms and change the fucking character. The character that has already made you popular. But just, like, 
you complained about the fact that her fans were there for her. But now she has to appreciate that more? What? Uh, what? Repetition because you get the support and not appreciating it. So just be glad that you have something, rather than nothing at all. Yes, and please, Akai or Akai fans, this is just our point of view. We never insulted Akai personally with words or saying you're pairing up with the original characters is ridiculous. We uh, don't attack us, this is just our point of view, but if Akai doesn't change, we're gonna make more videos talking about how bad of a person she is because we don't like her artwork. Because remember, guys, it was four hours. You said about how we don't like with things she does at the Vine Arts. And you cannot really say just ignore it since Akai is really famous around oh the Vine Arts. Oh my and by the god. So Akai just has to ignore the hate that she gets despite the fact that she's famous and so this hate is coming from all fucking sides. Uh, and she just has to appreciate the fans that she has. But these guys apparently can't just ignore Akai because she's really famous and her shit pops up on DeviantArt a lot. I- Uh, uh, uh That- That's certainly a take. By the way, when people are trying to make it as private as possible and give her advice, she's making a big deal of it by neither blocking people or, or thinking everybody hates her. Yeah, I maybe because everybody's demanding her to change her fucking character and she doesn't want to. Like, eventually, once you get to a certain point, you just start blocking the people who do that. Like, it doesn't matter if some of them say, oh, I'm coming to you with good intentions. How the fuck is she actively supposed to know that? How is she supposed to know who's actually coming to her with good intentions and who's coming to her just because they're a fucking dick who thinks they know better than she does about a character that she made and she wants to have fun with? Like, maybe you should get off your fucking high horse. You ever think of that? I don't know how she is right now, but like I said, she has improved a bit but needs to improve more. I admit that I don't know her status currently. But also, I'm gonna talk to you about her current status. Okay. Well, this is our opinion towards Akai, and we thank you guys for watching this. So that was <laughs> that was the first video on Akai Dahlia by Sonic ninety three and Amy Chan. Um, uh, you need a break to chill up my sand. I need a break to chill up some ice. Why would I need ice? I got water. Let me drink some water. Ting ting. Ting ting. Oh, Sonic 93 is literally the that's my opinion vine. Yeah, how can they say they're not attacking her when they call her character a slut? Yeah, especially when you take into consideration that Akai's character is very clearly a self-insert. Um, it's just like, yeah, why would she not actively take that as... An insult like she's expressing her fantasies and people are calling her a slut because of her fantasies it's like i'm sorry guys hormones are a thing get over yourself we'll leave the poor kid alone we need financial compensation for the lost brain cells the video gave that would be nice i would love it if the people i covered in my videos had to pay me Hey, I had to pop out for a wee bit, what did I miss? Uh, we just finished going over the first of Sonic 93 and Amy Chan's videos on the Kai Dahlia. We are heading into the second, but I actually need to take a whiz real quick. So, give me a second. Um, you know what I'm gonna do. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Give me a sec.
Alright, I'll be back. Vibe for a bit. No one shows any of their own OCs and how that makes them better than Akai. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, it's almost like uh, they know they'll probably get mocked too. And they don't want that because it doesn't feel nice. Weird. Weird how that works. Weird. So weird. <laughs> Hey guys, this is Akai3. Me and Amy Chen are making an update to our previous rant, which is about the Kai Dilia. Well, she's been up to a few things recently, so we're gonna talk about what's been going oh on. Oh my first. god! Oh no, okay. I forgot I lowered the volume a bit. I was just about to say, oh my god, did Amy Chen get even worse? <laughs> oh, that would have been a nightmare. So, you remember in the first rant- It's still not good. <laughs> we did about her, we said that she's improved. Well, we take that back now. She's back to her old self. Wait, you said that she improved? When? <laughs> In fact, it seems like she's gotten worse. Oh my god. The only difference she's made with her attitude is that People she doesn't- People can only ever go upwards in a straight line. If they go backwards at any point, it means they're a bad person and they're not taking criticism and they need to be knocked down a peg. Which then means they're gonna be uh, backwards again, which means we'll have to knock them back down a peg again and again and wow, it almost seems like a fucking recurring pattern. She reacts to extremists before, but still not taking the criticism so well as she gets from others. But now, she's been going too far with some things, especially her hate for Amy Rose. She keeps showing her hate for her by for recent pictures she has done. A picture of Shadow pointing a gun at her while he and Sonic are protected. Wood pond. Oh, Weed. No! Fuck! Oh god damn it! I accidentally. Shit! Fuck! No, I clicked ahead. I'm sorry. Shit! Fuck! Ugh. She keeps showing her hate for her by for reason. Okay, there we go. Uh, Wood Ponder have a daddy slash mommy tier list. Are we talking about the character or are we talking about me? Cause I don't have a daddy mommy tier list. I have a Necronomicon <laughs> with all the monsters I would summon. <laughs> picture she has done. A picture of Shadow pointing a gun at her while he and Sonic are protected oh of God. Akai. Really, Akai? You really think Shadow and Sonic would do something like that? Really? Drawing these characters you like and you want to obsess over you in a, in a way that is out of character for them? Really? <laughs> Fucking... <sighs> oh, God. It's almost like it, this is a fucking fantasy, and people don't have to justify their fantasies to you. You really think Sonic would hate one of his own friends, and wouldn't care about anyone else except for your character? Yeah, that's part of the- Hey, you know what's kind of funny? Well, she said in an artist's comment. She said, Sonic, Akai, Shadow, and Amy. 
For me, Sanai, Shaddai, and Sansha will always exist. Sorry, Shaddai, Amy, Sanai, and Amy Rose fans. That just proves of her hate for Amy Rose. Not to mention, she keeps <laughs> saying, sorry. <laughs> the fact that she drew Shadow pointing a gun at Amy doesn't prove her, her hate for Amy Rose. It's the fact that she says, sorry guys, but I prefer my original character being shipped with Sonic and Shadow over Amy being shipped with them. That's what proves it. <laughs> Although, it's obvious that she's not. Yeah, I'm sure you're really sorry. That's why you have this as a webcam picture on your profile, right? Yeah, it's almost like she just said that she liked Amy now to get you people off of her back. And when it didn't work, she just decided, what's the fucking point of pretending I like this character that I hate? Wow. W fucking w weird. It's almost like, yes, she she was lying to get you off your off her back because you were being assholes. Yeah, for some reason, she thinks it's so necessary to show her hate for Sanami or Amy. And recently- well, I guess if we told her that she was lying to get them off of her back because they were being assholes, they would reframe it as, Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, Akaidelia lied! Because she didn't want to deal with criticism! <laughs> she's been doing the same thing with Shad Amy. And she's been saving a lot of anti-pictures of Amy Rose lately. And recently, she did a journal saying that she hates her, saying, I hate her! Just deal with it, and I'm not going to tell you why. One thing that we really don't understand about her is that when someone asks her why she hates her, she tries to make it sound like it's some big secret that oh they Oh my god, if you don't like a character that we like, you have to justify it, and if we don't like your justification, you're a bad person, and you need to change your fucking mind on why you don't like this character. Ah. <sighs> This is, uh, an interesting way to go about things. Hello, 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 who are we watching? We're watching Sonic93 and Amy Fan, or Amy Chan's videos of Akai Dahlia from the art ranting community's gory days. No, I didn't mispronounce that. <laughs> who gives a shit, LMAO, they're acting like Amy is- I mean, Amy Chan is called Amy Chan! They probably really like Amy. <laughs> you know, just guess. Damn if you do, damn if you don't, exactly. Need to know. Although, if it's such a secret, why making people curious about your so-called secret? I mean, she can show the hate, but not the reason. Exactly. If you keep bringing up the fact that you hate her, you're gonna make people question it. Why? But come on, Akai. It's obvious why you hate her so much. We both know why, so you might as well just say it. Here's her reasons for showing her hate for Amy. She was talking to Deviant and the person has lost all respect to her. She said, I have personal feelings for Amy and I want to show because I could not longer stand it. Here's another problem with Akai. She acts like she doesn't care what people think or will think of her. But when people constantly mention about something bad related to Akai or Son Akai, she's making a big deal of it by neither drawing something related to the situation or makes a journal about it. Oh my god, when people come to her saying that they don't like her character shipped with Sonic, she draws something to vent out her feelings? What a horrible person! She even admires herself, like, in a way, her fans do. For example, recently she's been working on her new comic, and a person wrote a comment to her. They both left you with response, which led Akai to say this. I'm very excited of making this comic. The person said it was good that she does. Then she said this. I know it's weird, but I love this comic too. So she is so braggy about everything she does, yet her fans don't have any problem with that. Oh my god. Apparently, if you're working on a comic you enjoy, you're not allowed to say that you enjoy working on the comic because that's you bragging. Oh, fucking boy! Ah, uh, that... Okay. They still worship her and love everything she does, no matter what it is. Her hate for Amy, not loving Sonato, Sonakai pairing, except, except, and more except. Although- Wow, she has a supportive fan base. Again, apparently that's Akai's fault. It's her fault.
that she has a supportive fan base that lets her draw what she wants and likes it either way. Guys, I need you to start yelling at me. Yell at me! Yell at me! Yell at me! Tell me I'm awful! Fucking- Oh no, I'm gonna get a rant done on me because it's fucking- I have a nice audience! Ah! This- Ooh, boy. Ooh, boy. Wakai herself doesn't seem to care about them. Just only when they say that they think it's stupid that people think her character looks like Amy Rose. Also, since Akai is popular and gets a lot of attention, haven't you noticed that Akai doesn't respond to anything you say to her unless it's something that she doesn't want to hear? And if you say something to her, like, your character is a ripoff, or I've lost respect for you, for example, she always says the same two things. Those being your opinion, or it's your choice. And yet, if you say something like, I support you, or I love your art, she won't say anything to you, like she's just ignoring it. Yeah, it's almost like you can tell which ones get under her skin, and which ones are just her scrolling by and being happy. And I don't know, maybe she's too overwhelmed to say thank you on everything. Like you said, she's really popular. Wouldn't that imply that she's getting these nicer comments, like, frequently? One, she could become relatively jaded to them. Two, she might feel insecure about getting them because people keep saying that she's also trash, which could be causing imposter syndrome. Like, like, maybe she's worried that she doesn't deserve them, and that's why she doesn't say thank you. Did you ever think of that? Of course you didn't think of that. What am I saying? Even people have been willing to draw her character as a gift. A few times she doesn't even comment to say thank you or something. And when she does, it doesn't look so sincere. Okay, sh shut the fuck up. Uh, you are not entitled to an artist's thank you for, like, making a piece of art of one of their characters like maybe this is a controversial opinion um but like you're not entitled to someone else's time because they created a character that you like and you wanted to draw it that's not how that fucking works like it, it, like an artist coming up and saying thank you for drawing my character i love it blah 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 is a bonus that may or may not come on top of drawing the character. It is not a requirement on their end, and you're not entitled to it. Oh my god. Your art is amazing, you're an amazing human being, how dare you be a good person! <laughs> And let her draw what she wants, like anyone she- like anyone should do. If you don't like it, just go the fuck away. I mean, yeah. <sighs> Yeah, guys, I said on B's YouTube community tab where she shows art, I totally said best artwork ever, and I got zero response. Hashtag empty brook is over party. Hashtag cancel ponder sprock it. Sorry. Hey, cancel ponder spook it. <laughs> spook it. <laughs> oh my god. There was even one time where this one person drew her character. The picture was very well made, but what did Akai have to say about it? Oh, she's supposed to be more curvy and more feminine looking. When people complained to her about not appreciating the artist's work, she said, do you think I should love each piece? Meaning, do I have to love everything about the picture? She completely missed the point. Okay, that's fair. But like, she also has a point too. Like, she doesn't have to love each piece. Like, it's really nice when somebody like draws your artwork. But I don't know, maybe like Kai has specific tastes for how she likes her characters being drawn. It's like, if you don't like the way that she liked or disliked the piece, don't draw for Akai anymore. Like, it's really not that fucking difficult. Yeah, they're, they're just complaining because she's not grateful enough for the audience that she has. Like, oh my god. Yeah, she doesn't say thank you. When she says thank you, it, it isn't sincere. Which is it? I mean, yeah, that was kind of a dick move, but she doesn't have to like everything. Exactly. Like, I... Someone was not as thankful as or as grateful as they could have been for a fan art piece that somebody drew. Why does it matter? Why is it your fucking business? Akai, 
Do you know how rude that makes you sound? Oh my god. This person put a lot of work into making something just for you, and that's all. Oh only no, a guy is rude. You had to say? You didn't even bother saying one thank you for it. She also said that the artist could have made a different pose for a character, and when people came to attack Kai after that, she complimented the artist by saying her eyes are nice. Yeah, that proves oh how she does not appreciate things people do for her. Then after that, she decided to make an art trade for her, and you put a print screen of it. She obviously deleted it, but the point is, is that she only did that because she got in trouble. The Ugh. point is, like I said, a person put all of their time into something that was made just for you. You should at least appreciate it. The artist friend made a rancher about- Fuck you! <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm fucking sorry, it's like, some stranger made this thing for you, you should at least be appreciative. Fuck you, you're not entitled to Akai's feelings on anything. Akai doesn't have to be receptive of fan art. F f fuck you! Akai, one of the things she mentioned about her is how she makes her character looks and acts like Amy Rose. What did Akai do for defense? Put other links of other people having the same weapon and the pictures of dark pink colors of the flower- Wow, so doing the exact same fucking thing that you were doing except in defense of herself. Because remember, Blue Heart, they brought up a, a, an example of a character where someone had blatantly ripped off a Sonic character, it's just that it was Sonic and not Amy, and they used that as an example as to why other people were allowed to do it, but Akai wasn't. But when Akai brings it up, other people using the same hammer or also being like Amy, in her defense, it's bad. Cordelia. And once again, those people with the same weapon were not Sonic related. If all you do is complain about something that's not even important- How convenient that you don't, like, show us that. Or maybe she was just trying to prove a point that, like, Amy doesn't own hammers. Like, a better argument would be to actually show the characters, and then be like, yes, if we were talking about characters with hammers in general, but we were specifically talking about pink Sonic the Hedgehog characters. Like, that would have been a much better argument. At least then we'd actually get to see the fucking images. You'll just get more people hating you. About her fan base, they don't only agree with everything she does or says. They also agree the fact of her hatred of Amy Rose. Akai refused to say her reason for her hate for Amy Rose, but once she does, it's just the same reasons of other people think of her. Maybe people don't like how fucking clingy and annoying Amy is, and Akai's version fixes their problems with Amy, which is why they like her more. Did you ever think of that? No, of course you didn't. Akai's fans act exactly like her when it comes to hating Amy Rose, leaving immature and bratty comments about her every time. It's like And we take offense because my name is Amy Chan, and I really like Amy. We get it! We get it! Akai and her fan base think that Amy Rose is a real person. When her fans are defending Akai, most of the time they have to bring up Amy Rose. How dare you think that Amy Rose is a real person? Also, you're making Sonic act out of character. That thing that's not a real person. But we're totally fine with attacking this artist who is a real person and telling her that her character is a slut and needs to change, and is too similar to this character that we're also saying it d doesn't act like this, and also her personality is flat, which means she can't be similar to this character because we're saying that this character has a personality, but your character doesn't have a personality. <sighs> and call her names. Both Akai and her fans treat her like she's the worst thing to ever exist. They go too far saying stuff that she needs to die, even if they want to kill her themselves. How dare they treat this fictional character badly. <laughs> you do realize that she's fictional, right? You can't do a thing to her. And which, also- wh Which begs the question, why the fuck you care? Like, you do realize she's fictional, right? Why do you care if people don't like her and want her dead? She's not fucking real! Oh my god! So, Akai, why do you treat her like she hurt you or something? What has she ever done to you? She existed in canon with Sonic, because Akai is jealous and wants to be with Sonic. Ta-da! Like, was that actively so difficult to figure out?
She has also made a picture. Or is it because uh, Amy Chan and Sonic 93 were jealous of Akai? So any instances where Akai is jealous of someone else, they block it out because they can't recognize their own jealousy in, in turn, which means they then can't see the jealousy that is reflected across from Akai. I, I, I don't know if that made any sense. That explains of her hate for Amy Rose. As you can see, it still doesn't make any sense. Oh since she my said nothing god. Else. So she... <sighs> uh, what... what did it say? Hang on. Or it's coming. As you can see... Which I have done to you, you didn't have to do. Okay. See, it still doesn't make any sense. So, so Amy's asking, what did I do to you? And Kai is saying, you didn't have to do anything to me. I just don't like you. Which is fine. You're allowed to just not like a character. Like, I, I watched an episode of Becker back when I used to watch Becker. Where uh, the secretary, Linda, I think? Um, who actually was played by Amanda from the Saw series. Uh... She, there was this woman that she had to like go take care of or go help during the day and this woman was constantly mean to her but she was nice to everyone else and linda like bent over backwards the whole day trying to get this one or the whole week maybe trying to get this woman to like her and at the end she was just like why don't you like me like why don't you like me what do i have to fix to make you like me and the woman just confessed like i just don't like you like not everyone in the world is gonna like you and you have to get used to that that fucking this is aging me. Oh, there was a there was an amphibia episode about that. Not everyone in the world is gonna fucking like you. You just have to get over it. And <laughs> why why can't this also apply to Amy? Some people are just not gonna vibe with Amy. Maybe they can't articulate specifically why they dislike the character. I think in Akai's case it's specifically because she's jealous of her. But like why is it yeah, why is that your fucking problem? Isn't one of the traits of a Mary Sue to be loved by all the characters? Wouldn't Akai and Amy having beef in universe put a dent in that argument? Yeah. Yeah, it would. It it would. Since she said nothing in her artist comment. Hey, since Akai Maybe she thought the picture spoke enough for itself. It's not her fault you guys are dense and you can't read into things. And her fans keep saying why they think Amy's a horrible character and always say Akai's better. Let's compare with those two, shall oh we? Oh my god. First off, Amy's been around- We're gonna prove that your character isn't as good as this character we've demonstrated we fucking love. This ought to be good. ...in the Sonic games for years. And people got to know who Akai is since 2010. What does that have to do with the comparison? Well, the thing is, I bet that Kai and her fans want Akai to be one of Sega's main female character instead of Amy. Which- So you're literally making assumptions about what Akai and her audience want, and you're using those assumptions to justify why Akai is bad. <sighs> That's certainly a tactic would never happen because Akai is just a fan character, not to mention a ripoff. So how would a ripoff be a better replacement? So, haha, ha, your fantasy will never be canon. Cry about it. <sighs> okay. For the characters ripped off from, huh? Especially since Amy's been around for a very long- uh, I can think of many instances where a character became more popular than the character that it ripped off of. People could argue that Batman was a ripoff of Zorro. Um, fucking Glory was a ripoff of Wonder Woman uh, in her original incarnation, but you should go watch, or read rather, Sophie Campbell's Glory, because it's really, really good. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. oh god, what's another popular ripoff character? There's a lot of them in comics, actually. Uh, Rob Liefeld did a lot, because uh, he wanted to create stories for, like, Marvel and DC characters, but he didn't have the rights to them, so he just created rip-off stand- Oh, The Watchmen! Oh, there you go. That's, like, the best example. Um, yep, Deadpool was a rip-off of, uh, Slade. Or Death Deathstroke, rather, sorry. 
Um, but literally every character in The Watchmen is a ripoff of a pre-existing character because Alan Moore um, wasn't allowed to use those characters in a book because I think he wanted to kill some of them off and he wanted to do things with them that DC was not okay with him doing to their original characters. So he made stand-in versions. Uh, Rorschach was originally supposed to be the question. Dr. Manhattan, I believe, was Captain Adam. Um, mm. Who else was there? Um, oh, um, Night Owl was Blue Beetle uh, in his uh, first incarnation. Actually, no, maybe second incarnation, now that I think about it. I think the first one was Mystical. Yeah, so, um, <laughs> Watchmen. <laughs> you want you want characters that became more popular than their incarnations. I feel like Rorschach is arguably more popular than The Question. I mean, people probably, eh, 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 maybe not. I guess it depends on what circles you go in. All Might from My Hero Academia was um, more heavily inspired by Superman. Uh, yep, that's a good example. I don't know if All Might's more popular than Superman, uh, but that's a, that's a good example. Uh, Gwenpool, I don't think she would be considered a ripoff. She's especially because they own the rights to the character; they're just creating like a reimagining. Oh, so what's the problem with wishing your character was canon? I like have a Critical Role campaign two OC, and of course I would want her to be in it. That's just that's a dumb, but that's just a dumb wish, lol. Yeah, apparently wanting to be in your favorite canon shows and wanting to interact with your favorite characters is cringe. Is cringe. Like, despite the fact that we all do it, like, it, it really just sounds like somebody else is mad that somebody was making their fantasies a reality. And they, where they were jealous. Long time. Secondly, you think Amy's love for Sonic is annoying or whatever you think of it? So, a character with no personality, basically a sex toy for the main character, who barely show any affection to him, is better? Oh. I thought you said that she was just like Amy. So now you're listing all of these things that make her blatantly not like Amy, and why that's why Amy is better? But she's also an Amy ripoff? I, uh... Can we not? Oh, and also doesn't love him for who he is, just love him for his looks. And it's kind of funny how Akai says Amy is childish when Amy's behavior to other people and care for them is better than Akai's any day. Few times when Akai states her hateful opinion about Amy, she has been a, such a huge hypocrite. Example, she said one time about Amy, she almost always calling Sonic for help. I wonder would she be so brave without her hammer. Two hypocritical things about her argument. One, Akai has two, and I repeat two, male Sonic characters doing her job of hitting Amy Rose by shadow pointing a gun at her, and Sonic just stands there being out of character as usual. Two, Akai's been showing helpless without her hammer in a recent comic. She's supposed <laughs> to be a vampire hunter. How dare there be narrative plot points where Kai is is out of uh, uh what's uh out of her depth in the story? That means that fucking. Can't, I can't. How? And of course, we we can't read the whole comic, so we don't know the context for how she ended up without her hammer, which is supposed to be all, all like, oh, see, it's bad for Akai to to be jealous of Amy because she's always getting Sonic to come help her. <sighs> I'm, I'm 18 minutes in and I'm exhausted and have a hammer as a weapon. But when Sonic kidnaps her, she asks the other vampire hunters for help. But wait, I thought your character was the- I- I'm sorry. She's a vampire hunter, so she's constantly slaying people like Sonic, which means she probably has an understanding that Sonic is dangerous to some degree, and when he- you admit that he tries to kidnap her, it's unreasonable for her to ask her teammates for help. <laughs> Supposed to be tough. 
Oh, right. You don't make that clear since you keep changing her. Oh, yeah, so apparently it's it's bad for you to be tough, but also recognize when you're out of your depths and you need fucking help because you're being carted away by a bloodthirsty monster. Apparently tough people aren't allowed to ask for help, you guys. <laughs> guys, that's a, that's a different personality trait. That's like headstrong or stubborn. Fucking, you can be tough and still recognize when you need help. And also, to answer your question, Akai, Amy Rose has proven herself that she doesn't always need a guy to protect her every time. One example would be- Oh, so you acknowledge that Amy has times when she is tough, but also has instances where she needs help from her teammates. But apparently it's bad for Akai to do it too. Oh my god. How in the actual fuck? See this scene from the Archie comics. In this scene, she is fighting Shadow and loses her hammer during the fight. But she doesn't just give up. She actually charges up to Shadow, saying that she'll still take him on without it. Now, she still lost the fight, but the point is that she actually shows that she can be brave at times. Here's another thing people keep calling Amy. Okay, the, the action. question is, did Amy have, like, friends in that same scene that she could call on for help? Was Shadow carting her away, potentially about to suck her blood? No? Cool, so the scenes aren't comparable. Love that for us. And slut. Like, compared to a card, does Amy keep showing her butt in front of her kid, or wears a revealing outfit for the second day she meets a stranger, which happens to be a guy, not a girl. Or does she have a three-way with two guys who are obsessed with her? And I'm pretty sure- I mean, it depends on what porn of Amy Rose you're looking at. I'm sure you could find it somewhere. Kai has never heard of a bra. I've never seen a picture of her character without her nipple sticking out. Okay, as someone who doesn't wear bras, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Yeah, just saying, Akai. That's what a bra is for. Another thing. Yeah, b bras are also for back pain. <laughs> Fuck you. It's with Akai and her fans is that they call people who think Akai looks like Amy Rose stupid. So let's take a closer look at those two, shall we? Well, as we said in our first rant, Akai just looks like Amy Rose if she was older. I mean, just look at them together. <sighs> Can you really blame others who think that? It's almost like they're the same fucking species. Hello, green eyes, dark pink color, still pink nonetheless, and species hedgehog, and also liking the same hedgehog. Another fun fact about Akai's ripping off Amy Rose is actually her last name as well. Dillian means a kind of flower, right? Rose is also a kind of flower. Comparison, Akai, Dillia, Amy Rose. What are the freaking odds? And now, they both have the same weapon. A hammer. And no, Akai fans, being dark pink with longer hair does not make any difference. Uh, again, it, it just feels really obvious that Akai, like, partially projected onto Amy in terms of, like, she's jealous that Amy gets to go after Sonic, but she doesn't like Amy's style, so she changed it up to match something that she feel better fits her. Oh, the horror! The pure, unadulterated PG-13 horror! And it sure doesn't help when Akai actually drew her character in Amy Rose's outfit. Or the fact that few times when her fans or her friends are making a picture of Akai, Akai's fur color is Amy's light pink color. And, and that's her fucking fault? That her fans get the color wrong? That it's her fault that the fan art doesn't have the right colors? And one of her gifts is basically Amy Rose with longer hair. So, Akai, you don't complain whenever someone makes your character light pink instead of dark, but you complain when that one person didn't make her curvy? It just proves the point that Akai is a ripoff of Amy Rose and is basically Amy Rose in an older version. But Akai and her fans are still denying it. Hey, they even said her character looked better in the dress. So... <laughs> So 
So there are instances where Akai didn't correct the person. And your response is, well, why aren't you correcting all the people who get your character wrong? But I thought earlier it was bad that she corrected anyone for getting her character wrong. Now they're like, oh, the fact that she doesn't do it for everyone proves this narrative. <sighs> Oh my god. The fans have been also saying as the fans for Kai's looks is that it's dark pink. Like, it's just a darker version of pink, but it's still pink nonetheless. Also, Akai has been saying that her character is based on her creativity. She got the dark pink color from the flower Delia. But Akai, Delias can come in different colors, so why did you choose that one? Oh my god, or maybe she just likes dark too? pink. You still think Akai is better than Amy, even if it's obvious that she makes a character a sex toy? We have more evidence at her Ink Bunny account. Wow, so their, their argument really is Akai isn't better than Amy because she's a slut. That really is the core of one of their main arguments. Akai isn't better because Amy's innocent and Akai is a slut. Wow. Fuck. Oh, okay, fuckwits. Most all of her Ink Bunny pictures are just Sonic having his like, way with it. Like, do these sound like fucking pick me to anyone? Oh my god. Really? You had to go to a guy's porn? Kai, if it's not that, then it's just a Kai being completely naked for no reason. She even did animations of Sonic and a Kai doing things. Not even Ink Bunny, Akai doesn't draw herself uh, showing Sonic any love. Even if she does, it's just how Amy would be. Not only that, but the father acts perverted to her in front of their kid. Great parenting. <laughs> and... <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. That kid is a baby. I don't think the baby notices when their parents get ranchy. Ranchy. Whatever. Words. Randy. Fuck. <laughs> like maybe if we're talking about like oh god i don't know like an eight-year-old or like a, a five-year-old or a 13-year-old or like something that actually understands what bedroom eyes are <laughs> they're really like how dare these new parents be horny how dare <laughs> Oh my god. What's wrong with sluts? I mean, apparently these guys don't like them. And their kid? You won't believe what his name is. Sonai! The exact same name as her pairing. Oh my god. That's so creative, so right? Lamest of the lamest name for a fan kid ever. Definitely the worst name I've ever heard for a fan kid. Oh my god. You're so into your own parent that you name your fan kid of the parent's name? Another thing that is very odd that Akai has done is her hypocrisy with Sonato. Hypocrisy? Akai used to be a big Sonato fan and had her own comic about it. But not too long ago, Akai had said that she doesn't like Sonato anymore and stopped working on How it. How dare she change her mind. Now, this is no big deal. However, Akai now acts like she never even liked the pairing to begin with. Even insulting Sonato fans. It's one thing to like something and then decide to not like it anymore. But acting like you never liked it and insults people who actually do, like you've never been a fan of it before. Notice how they never show us these instances of Akai, quote unquote, acting like she never liked the pairing. Like, for all we know, her acting like she never liked the pairing is her just acting like she doesn't like it. Like, we don't see any instance showcasing her doing this. We're just supposed to take these guys' word on it. Um, pretty sure that's not how it works. Just saying. Just saying. Considering how she's acting like she's never loved Sonato, in her comic, 
She gave Sonic this typical woman personality, even making him pregnant. Yeah, it's almost like Sonic is the main character of his series, and people tend to project onto the main characters. So on top of being able to project onto Amy, she is able to project onto Sonic. Uh, that's why there were so many tween girls who were into things like Yaoi and, like, I don't know, Harry Potter x Snape, because they were projecting onto the smaller Twinkie-looking one, and they liked the, the taller whatever semi-looking one, or whatever the fuck they're supposed to be called. Yeah, it's semis and ukes. Uh, like, <sighs> projection does not exclusively have to be limited to people who look or act like you. C projection can be wanting to project onto something that you want to be, or like a role you want to take on, or something. You don't have- you can project across gender lines! Ah. Uh... Gave him the typical woman personality. Yeah, exactly. Fucking- so she was creating a story that, like, amplified her projection and still bad. Cool. Love it. Love that for her. Except I don't. I feel so bad for Akai. Ah. In Shadow, this typical caring and affectionable boyfriend, in a way that's not his character. And now, she's all like this. It's like she's just pretending that she was never a fan of it. She said that she was going to continue the comic, but so far, she never did. I don't get it. If you Yeah, maybe that's her venting about her frustration because she's constantly still getting all of these Sonato comments, but she doesn't like the pairing anymore. Weird. She used to like a pairing, act like you never liked the pairing, but still says that she's going to continue the comic of the pairing, might have a... Yeah, because maybe people are bugging her about it. I guess why she says she can continue it, considering on how some of her fans reacted? Some of her fans weren't exactly too happy when she said that she was ending the comic. Maybe that's why she continued it. Like, they ask why she would want to continue with something that she hates, and then immediately give an answer as to why she would have to continue something that she hated. Like, they're not even listening to themselves at this point. Hey, B, isn't it time for an eatable? Because it's an edible. An eatable. <laughs> I want a damn bog. Uh, they, the problem is they won't kick in for like six hours for me, and I don't think I'm going to be streaming for that long. Uh, but I'll take one. That's not... That's not... I just picked out a gel packet. That's not an edible. I shake one, so I'm back on some meds that are helping weed work for me. So I don't know how- Oh, but I do have inhalables. I'll take that. That'll work. And preg is literal thing because G trans men are a thing. I guess I'm awful for headcanon and Sonic is trans for writing miscarriage angst. Um, no. People are allowed to do whatever they want with characters. It's just like people being fucking art Karens. You do whatever you want to do with Sonic that makes you feel good. But left her alone when she said she would continue. Since she still hasn't done anything about it for a while now, we're thinking she most likely said that to make them stop. <laughs> so you acknowledge that's probably the reason, but you still ask for a reason. They know the answers to the questions they are asking. Well, this is the basic facts we've seen from Akai. We're also going to have a video about our personal thoughts about her. We decided to split the video since it'd be too long to have our personal thoughts. <laughs> Did the they end. actively get even quieter? <laughs> Fucking end me. But we thank you guys for watching this. We hope you like or liked it. Thanks. Oh. Blast out your ears. Hey guys, this is Sonic93. This is our second update of the Kai Dillia rant, but in this update, we're gonna state our own personal thoughts about her. She hasn't been called. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Sonic 93 got better and Amy Chan got worse. <laughs> but there's still a few problems we have with her. In the last video we did, some of Akai's fans came and bashed us. They accused us of being bullies to Akai and that she can do whatever she wants. <laughs> Listen, to Akai's fans and Akai herself, please don't take these rants the wrong way. We're not doing this to be mean to Akai or to be bullies. All we're doing is simply saying our opinions about her. We're All not... we're doing is saying that she's a slut ripoff of Amy Bros with a flat personality and that she needs to change everything about the character, otherwise she deserves the hate. <laughs> we're not bullying her! song the song is called dreams of absolution uh, something something remix S you guys know the songs in the chat can't spell based without b <laughs> also can't spell bitch I'm not insulting her personally we just don't like what she's doing with her character when we say we don't like her character we don't say that to be mean to her kai herself we haven't said one bad thing about her as a person. We're just saying our own thoughts on her character. And give yeah, we're just talking about the character that she's clearly projecting onto and, and fucking draws as a self-insert. We're just saying the character is bad. We're not attacking Akai. It's not like artists like are really attached to their characters and put themselves in their characters in the scenarios that they make and they get kind of offended if people say that they are objectively bad or need to change them. But ah. Uh... Especially, like, it's, uh, how old was Akai at this point? I want to say she was still in her teens. Character criticism. Or, like, just out of them. And Akai, you have been saying that people are spreading lies about you, and one of them is that you can't accept advantages and disadvantages criticisms. If that was not true, how come every time someone says something about your character that you don't happen to like about her, and even offer tips how for you to improve, you've been blocking people, accusing them for being a hater, and think they're against you? You don't like the lie that you say people are spreading about you not taking criticism, but also why aren't you taking all of our criticism all the time? Maybe because it's unsolicited criticism, you self-entitled Karen. And also, you're one of the most famous Sonic artists on Divine Art, mainly because you're Sonata comic. But now it's- Yeah, Ah, f- <laughs> oh, God. It's more like you're famous because of how you treat other people when they have different opinions about your stuff except for your fans. It all started when people kept thinking that your character looks like Amy Rose. You've been calling them things, made angry emotions every time they say she looks like Amy, and you got furious to the point that you made a comparison picture and insulted others for believing your character looks like Amy in the artist's comment. The way you're trying to explain that Akai looks nothing like Amy, you're putting it in a way that you think we can't see that Akai has different outfit compared to Amy, different hairstyle, dark pink, and so on. Akai, after all this time people have been trying to tell you why she looks like Amy Rose, you're missing the point. It's not that people think that Akai has the same outfit as Amy, or the same features. It's because of how you make your character look like, or act like with Sonic, the bangs in the hair looks just less than Amy's has. Your character has just a you long- You just said it wasn't because of physical features, and then went on to list physical features that were similar between Akai and Amy. Oh. My god. Akai doesn't even speak English, no wonder she's fucking confused. Okay, actually, no, she does speak English, it's just, you know, not her first language. Oh my god, I feel so bad for non-English speaking artists or English as second language speaking artists who have to deal with the English fucking art community. Longer and less bang hair version than Amy's. That doesn't separate them apart. It would separate them apart if Akai had that dark pink color. Oh dark god. pink has no meaning, it's still pink. And also- So, it's- so all of the things that you listed don't actually matter. And it's just the fact that the color is the same. Because if the color was different, she wouldn't look like Amy. Cool. <sighs> so why did you list all of the other things that made her look like Amy if the color is the main problem? If the fur color is such a big defense for Akai's looks, how come you haven't complained about people who have been drawing things for you, called your character light pink, not dark pink, 
And Akai, not even the outfits- Why aren't you complaining to your fans about the way they draw your character after we complained about you complaining to your fan because she didn't draw the character correctly? I don't know. Maybe because you guys got on her ass and people got on her ass for saying that wasn't a nice thing to do? Like, like, am I fucking crazy? Louis is stupid. Just subscribe for eight months. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy your stay. That was very sweet of you. But what? But what the fuck is going on? I think Sonic ninety three doesn't have English as her first language either. Oh God, they're eating themselves. No. Hi, Demoda. Hi, Miss Wiggly Butt. Hello. Do I? Oh, can you get some water? Oka, you get some water. She's thirsty, you guys. She's thirsty. <sighs> Infinite and Shadow both have black and red color schemes. Oh, fuck, I can't tell who's who when they're beside each other. Hell yeah! One sec, I'll be right back.
go. Sorry about that. I'm back. Ugh. Hey, B. I don't know if you mentioned it. What breed is Demolara? She is a multi poo. A Maltese poodle mix. That's what her uh, vet thingy said when I adopted her. Ah. <laughs> uh. I don't know, man. I kind of didn't didn't like Cosmo because she was just a Mary Sue that went against my tail slash cream ship, and that is perfectly valid. My Sonic OC is a blonde rabbit. Oh no, I guess she's just a cream ripoff. I mean, according to these guys, yeah. Such a big dif difference with your character. Plus, like, if you really think about it, in the Sonic world, it's not like every. Sonic is not the only blue blue hedgehog character. Like, I'm pretty sure both of his parents were blue. So, like, clearly you can have, like, individuals of the same species who are the same color. But apparently Akai is not allowed to do that because she specifically looks too close to Amy. But again, Blue Heart is totally allowed to do that by making a female version of Sonic. At least fucking Akai made some changes. Blue Heart just made her have eyelashes and boobs. Character Amy. I'm gonna explain how. The top of your character's Like, if anything, that, that sort of just proves that, like, she was project- the creator of Blue Heart was projecting onto Sonic. To such an extent that she made her original character a female version of Sonic. <laughs> like, wow. It's such a complete rip off Amy's dress. It may not look like a dress, but wow, your your shirt has a collar, therefore it's a ripoff of a dress with a white collar. Oh my god! I can explain the white collar and that opening in her dress. Not to mention Akai's back is shown just like Amy's. Oh my god! And Akai, can I just Amy ask owns backless dresses. Ask you something? Did you really think you would get away with it when you made your character have a hammer? Is that why you brought her sword back? What was the point of changing it in the first place, anyway? Because maybe she preferred the hammer, but everybody got on her ass, so she was like, fine, I'll change it back. Fucking also, assholes. Also, saying other people have the same weapon is not an excuse to begin with, because the <laughs> examples you put, their characters are not Sonic characters, and they don't, they don't- But we never got to see those examples. They don't look like Aang in a human form or something. Is there any reason why she still has some fans that worship her? Even if some admit that she can be rude to people? That another person who made a picture for Akai got a comment from another person who did the same was saying that she ignored it. And the person was responding to the other one like, She sometimes does that and doesn't accept faces as gifts. As if it was okay for Akai to do that. And then she said it, you know, What if she disagreed with the tactics of using braces? Like, what if someone. Yeah. Sorry. What if somebody, like, what if one of my fans traced over somebody else's artwork in order to make fan art for me? Am I obligated to thank them for that fan art, despite the fact that I disagree with their tactic of using tracing? Like, why isn't Kai, why isn't Akai allowed to pick and choose what fan art she's allowed to, she, like, she feels comfortable saying thank you for? Why isn't she allowed to, to make note of artistic practices that she disagrees with? In a way, like, she didn't comment for my hard work, but hey, as long as she puts it in her face, I'm fine! Not what? only they accept her rude behavior, they also don't make any sense when they're trying to explain how Akai and Amy are not alike. They're basically just saying the same thing. Is it because of her art? Is it because they want to be noticed by someone popular? Or is it because of her character's hotness? Sure, it seems like Akai gets less attention because of everything that's happened, but she still has fans. And everything that's awkward with her- So you don't want her to have fans? Like, you admit, yeah, she has less attention because the rants have been going after her, smearing her name and ruining- And you're like, but she still has fans. So you don't think she should have fans, period. It's not the fact that she has fans that do things that you don't like, and that's apparently Akai's fault. It's the fact that she has fans. 
So Sonic93 and Amy Chan were jealous of Akai, and it's really obvious. Uh, I guess their whole thing is like, oh, well, it's just an Amy ripoff, so why did she become so popular? Maybe because her Amy ripoff specifically catered to a bunch of other girls who didn't like Amy and wanted Amy to look and act a specific way, and she fixed it for them. I guess that's just completely out of the question, right? That that could never fucking happen. The cat and her so-called haters wasn't just a small incident with one person. It was a bunch of people who had been saying their opinions about Kai and can't get it through it to her that even they made a somewhat journal rant about her. So you admit that Akai Kai is being harassed by her self-professed haters. And you're still mad that she has fans? And you're upset that those fans want to protect her in instances where she is being unjustly scrutinized by a bunch of assholes? <laughs> oh boy. Uh, this was certainly a, a take, a time. How dare you have a fan base even after two jealous idiots decided to rip you on for no rip on you for no reason. Yeah, exactly, basically. Oh hi, Big Mac! Holy 23 months! What the fuck, Big Mac? How do you have money? We What the fuck, Big Mac? Holy shit! Where is Akai nowadays? Um, nowadays her name has, like, partially been cleared, but guaranteed her mental health has been destroyed from this era. Uh. I repeat, I'm reporting you for ignoring me. No! No! Ridiculous. And how Akai tried to deal with it, it didn't make things better. First of all, journals, journals, journals! She has made every time she got in trouble. Secondly, so it's perfectly fine for her haters to be making journals talking about how awful of a person she is because they don't like her original character. But it's not okay for Akai to make journals in response to the people actively harassing her. She just has to shut up and take it, huh? She just has to appreciate what she has. Oh... Art related to the situation, such as haters gotta hate or the deal with a picture that says I'm right now, now I deal with it. Although I said before, I'm a slut deal with it. It's so funny that all this time you've been trying to tell people that your character isn't a slut, but you put that before you change it and then into I'm not a slut, I'm just popular. I mean, yeah, that really describes you thinking that other artists are better than you. And by the way, what does your popularity have to do with Fucking your? When did she say that? What? Well, I'm sorry, did I understand that incorrectly? Or did Sonic 93 just imply that Akai thinks she's better than other artists? When her whole thing was just that she's popular. That doesn't make her better, nor does it imply that she thinks that she's better. She's just acknowledging a fact. You guys said that she was popular, and you're bitching about the fact that she doesn't have fans. And now you're really trying to be all like, oh, she's acknowledging she's popular, therefore she thinks she's better than us. Like, get over yourselves. Your character not being a slut. You said that like it was a good thing, and that we should accept it. Yet you hate when people call your character that, even though you make her like that. That makes so much sense. How, how did what you said and just make any sense? You thought it was so necessary to take a picture that you already did, change one thing about it, and then submit it as new art. Yeah, maybe because everyone was being a bitch about the fact that Amy was the one with the gun pointed to her, so she changed it. Oh my god! Saying that it was for the haters, by having Shadow point a gun at nothing. Yeah, Kai, you're not showing yourself better than their so-called haters for a few reasons. First of all, they haters have reasons for not liking you. You have no. 
she doesn't have a reason to not like the people who are, according to them, actively hating on her and self-identifying as haters. Akai doesn't have reason to dislike them. I... What? reasons for saying that they're lying about you or saying that you're better than them because you haven't said why you say that you do and saying deal with it makes you more of a braggy person than proud of yourself oh my god secondly why is it so necessary to use the flipping bird almost every time that also just shows that you're more rude to people who have different opinions about you and also akai people didn't just how dare you flip the bird to the self-professed haters don't you know they have feelings how dare you be rude to people who claim that they just hate your character for arbitrary things that you don't care about or can't control ah! randomly start to hate you they hate starts because of your behavior not you individually but it turns out to be individually because you keep showing yourself nothing more but full of yourself because of all this attention you're getting. And you're always saying that you don't care so, about that. So, wait, if the hate started because of what she's like, then the character doesn't matter, right? If the hate started because of how Akai acts, then what her character looks like shouldn't matter. Like, if she was going out and saying thank you to all of the fan art she got, then... Theoretically, you would have no problem with her, correct? <laughs> like, is it because her character looks like Amy, or is it because she's a bitch and you don't like the fact that she's a bitch? <laughs> oh my god. Haters. If that was true, why do you need two guys and fans to do your job dealing with the haters? Not to mention, I'm gonna hate- two, two Two- what do you mean two guys? They're not real. They're fictional. She's drawing a fantasy where her character can vent to these two characters that she's in love with. They're not actually real. They're not actually helping her. And if anything, her venting with the- for- in the form of these fantasies is just hurting her more. Because then you guys take it and you're like, uh, uh, see? It's proof that Akai is a bad person. Fucking hell. He divine it because of him. Although it was obvious that you didn't mean it. It seems like you just said that just so you could get attention from people. Also, or maybe she's in the midst of a yo-yo phase where, like, yes, she she likes the the positive attention from her fans, but in dealing with the positive attention from her fans, she also has to deal with the haters, which makes her want to leave the platform. But as soon as she does leave the platform, then she craves the attention from her actual fans that she is no longer getting. I... A recipe for disaster, yes, but it's not difficult to figure out that this was... <laughs> like, why does it matter? Like, she changed her mind. Why do you care? Around that time you said you were gonna leave the vine art, it was so obvious that it was a setup oh, and you were God. just looking for sympathy. Oh, we God. both know that you've been looking at our rants, but your reaction to it is just the same as before because you keep... Maybe, yeah, I'm just curious what you'll say of the videos. So, like, <sighs> she thinks it might be better if she goes, and she's testing the waters with her audience to see if they think it would be a good idea. Like, yes, you could argue it's Akai seeking attention, but you could just as easily argue that she was testing the waters to see if her audience would actually care if she was gone thinking that we're against you, even if we made it so clear that we're not. Not to mention, there's been people out there doing or saying worse things to you, but you act like we're the worst one? <laughs> Akai, people so have made you acknowledge that Akai is getting shit that's even worse than the bullying going on in this video. But like, it's bad for Akai to want to leave because of your video, because there's worse out there? L like, that's them acknowledging that Akai, like, saw their video and was so upset that she kind of wanted to leave the platform. 
And they're just like, um, why do fuck do you care about what we say? There are other people saying worse things. So you acknowledge that Akai is being harassed on all sides. And, like, some of it is worse than this shit. Like, like this shit's already not fucking great. And they're like, well, we're not as bad as some of the other people, so therefore, we're fine. Like, no, you're still assholes. You're just slightly less assholey than the other guys. It doesn't mean you're fucking good. It doesn't mean you're better. You're just not taking it as far. Anti -club review. And that's according to them, because we've already seen they will misrepresent shit to push a narrative. Anti-art about you, stamps about you, and there have been people that have said harsh things to you. And we make a video just saying our opinions and not saying anything mean, and you say <laughs> that's the reason you don't want to live? Really? Akai, you are 23 years old. Don't you think you're old enough to defend yourself, rather than getting your fans to do it for you? You are an adult, you know. So Akai, <laughs> Akai as a single individual person, has to defend herself from the haters. And it's unreasonable for her to expect or like to take advantage of her fans defending her or venting through not real fucking characters. Oh my god. Or thinking two fictional characters are gonna help you? Oh my well, god, you even acknowledge that they can't help her, but you still brought them up as two things that she was leaning on as being two guys who were coming in to help her. Despite the fact that they're not real, oh my god. Drawing them nothing but lusting over your character, and seems like they don't care for her feelings and only- Oh my god, we get it, she's a horny 20-something year old. Get over yourselves. Doing all the stuff just to get her body. You're pretty much just making your character nothing but a toy for them. But you claim that Akai is in love with Sonic. If that's the case, then why pair her up with Shadow? Or both at the same time? Because the love triangle is sexy. You're claiming that Amy Rose is Akai's low rival because of Sonic, but you say you love them both? Your character can't be together with two guys. That's just setting a bad example for her. She <laughs> has to be with only one. Polyamory is setting a bad example, you guys. Who do you freaking love anyway? Because it seems like you're more into Sonic than Shadow. But what you said one time about one picture you made of those three was more and more I start to pay attention to Shadow. He's more sexy than Sonic. Wait, no. <coughs> Sonic 93 could not have been 28 when this happened. I refuse to believe that. I refuse to believe that she was 28 when this happened, because that means she's older than me currently. I, d I don't fucking believe that. I, I, need, I need sources cited for that one. Actually, she stated she just got into her 20s in one of these videos. Yeah, okay, that's, that's way more- we'll have to look for that, because that's way more believable. As someone who's opposite of horny, why do you fuck do people get so pissy about others being at all horny if it's not hurting anyone? Uh, because we had to see it and that was bad. Or in your Sonato comic, you were basically saying that you like Shadow as a vampire better than Sonic, in a way that he's more attractive than him as a vampire. But it seems like you pay more attention to Shadow because of what you say. Yet all you ever draw now is your character with Sonic. Wait, I don't understand why that was a point against her. Because she drew the Sonic the Vampire comic, but she thinks Shadow is sexier as a vampire than Sonic is? I, I don't understand why that's a point against her. If you say all these things about Shadow, and rarely ever say the same about Sonic, then why do you still continue to pair your character up with him? Oh, they're questioning how much she really loves Sonic. <laughs> Fucking... And don't say, I can draw whatever I want, because the whatever I want argument made people even call your character slut when you basically portrayed her like that. So... But you called her a slut! You... <laughs> You're saying she can't use the I'm allowed to draw whatever I want argument because you will call her character a slut? <laughs> what? <laughs> Goodbye, Laura. Have a good sleep. The f the fucking balls. Not 
to mention, your excuses for not being a slut once again has to involve Amy Rose. You say that she is too because of how people draw her together with Sonic and Shadow. Two things, Akai, that people do draw her like that for a reason. One, Amy doesn't belong to people who draw her like that. You might as well call Sonic a pervert because you make him like that. And he's oh my god. I'm so glad they brought up Akai's turning of Sonic into a pervert because their whole thing earlier was like it was bad for Akai to draw Sonic as a pervert because he's drawing she's drawing him out of character. But now they're defending people drawing Amy out of character and drawing her slutty because they don't own the character. So it doesn't matter. But it apparently matters if Akai does the exact same fucking thing with Sonic, but with the intention of pairing him up with her original character slash self-insert. So it's okay for people to make Amy into a slut. But it's not okay for Akai to make Sonic into a slut so she can fictionally fuck the Sonic slut. Oh. B, you're too high for this? I'm not high enough for this. Like, what, what the fuck is going on? He's an official character, so is Amy. Two. People draw stuff like that out of own desire, not because they think that she is like that for real. But since Akai is but, your character and nobody else draws her like wait. that, not because they think that she is like that for real. But since Akai is your character and nobody else draws her like that, you're basically making up your mind of what she's supposed to be since it's your character. Oh my fucking god. So now they're just saying it's bad for you to make a character that's a slut. Um, okay, we're gonna, hang on, I'm gonna, where am I, let's see, no, we gotta be in documents, there we go, it's, you can tell it's been a while, that's, I wanna introduce you guys to somebody, let's see, where the fuck would this be? You in here? Where are you? Where are you, you slutty bitch? Oh, there's one picture of the slutty bitch. This is Crescent. He is my slut, and I love him. He is purposely slut lord McGee will fuck fucking anything almost. And I love him. He is a good slut. Well, okay, he's a he's a self-entitled slut. Canonically, the first time Crescent and Mecca interact with each other, Crescent says something about how like tall people are sexy because Mecca is taller than Crescent, and Mecca shrinks their torso because they do not want to have to fucking deal with him. I love this slut. Fuck you. I will enjoy my slut bot. Nice to meet him. It is nice to meet him. He's very good. I have more pictures of him. Hang on. Where are you, you slutty boy? Where the f you can tell it's been too long since I went into my act. There's. <laughs> there he is. There you are, you slut. This is good. Good fun. Is he a well-written slut? I hope he's a well-written slut. I try to give him three dimensions. I have a D&D &D character that has the nickname MILF slash DILF Hunter because she is such a slut. Ah, uh, yes. Enjoy your slut characters. They're fun. He's not my only slut character, obviously. You could argue the view that Ponder Sprocket is a slut, but she's definitely not as bad as Crescent. <laughs> Crescent's, like, the kind of per There's literally a scene in one of the comics where, like, Crescent wakes up, like, basically after a night of an orgy. Is he angsty? No, he's very not angsty. He's, uh, Mr. Prim Proper, I fought my way to get to the top and there's no fucking way I'm losing it, will do almost anything to get where he wants to go. Slutty slut slut boy. And yes, obviously that includes doing any one. Uh, enjoy your slut characters, they're fun. Uh, fucking, 
Sonic 93 and Amy Chan are being ridiculous with this, like, decision that slut characters are just not okay and you're not allowed to have them ever. Sorry, guys. Uh, slut, slutty people exist. Like, look at me. <laughs> oh, where are my angsty sluts? We do love a power slut. I have a character who's sort of a power slut, but he's also, like, only that because he's been locked away his whole life and he, he's very, very virgin-deprived. Or, or sex-deprived, rather, would be the, the better term. <laughs> he would be an angsty slut. Jason is definitely an angsty slut. <laughs> I freaked my way into this position and I'm going to freak my way into keeping it. Exactly. Oh. I want to do, uh, oh god, I've heard this song recently, uh, from The Greatest Showman, called The Other Side, and every time I listen to it, it just sounds like Crescent trying to, to bribe Mecca into helping him get information and shit. I'm just like, oh, I, I have to get back to that comic, and I have to get around to doing that, and developing these characters, because I, that's really what I want to do. Ah... <laughs> I literally have an OC monster doctor who bangs her patients. Monster fucker slut. Yes. Power to the sluts. Power to the sluts. Would Deadpool be considered a slut? Deadpool is absolutely a slut. <laughs> Deadpool is absolutely a slut. Slut rights. <sighs> also, Akai, if your character isn't really a slut, how do you explain when you keep drawing your character showing your butt even in front of your kid, or she wears no panties in public? Slut -wise. Even if you're not revealing wait, any parts of your- Wait! No panties in public? We're- We're talking about the Sonic universe, right? You showed a picture of Sally the Hedgehog, or Sally- Yes, yeah, she- Sally the Squirrel? She's a squirrel, right? You showed a picture of Sally earlier. <laughs> Character's body, you're making them noticeable, like you can see parts of it. <laughs> you are just proving those people right if you keep doing that. And since many people have been saying that your character doesn't have personality, you've been making a channel picture of your character with a profile. Akai, once again, you keep changing things and never sticks to it. That's a what? She can't change her channel profile? She's doing more art of her character and trying to make her... Wait! No! I thought you said that the whole problem was she wasn't taking... One of the problems was she wasn't taking criticism. And now people are saying that her character is like flat and bland and not dynamic. So she does something to try and make the character more dynamic. And your argument is you can't stick to things? Oh my god! Oh my god, who cares if she wants to show her coochie letter damn? <laughs> yeah, the guy on the right doesn't have pants either, and he isn't called a slut. It was literally just a guy! To mention how you describe her so-called personality was just basically described on how she is to other people. Also that, you haven't given her the- What? Isn't that- Okay, why, why is that a bad thing? Why is it bad to indicate how your character's personality changes depending on who they surround themselves with? Huh. Oh, oh. Personality, you've been reading about her when you draw her neither alone, nor with Sonic or Shadow. Even if you do make your character alone, she's still suggestive looking. I have not seen one picture of her where parts of her body aren't revealing or sticking out. Who and you rarely make her alone now. Most Who wants to bet that at some point in, in the, <laughs> in this fucking, what do you call it? Fuck. At some point in this video, they have definitely shown pictures of Akai where, like, her boobs and butt were not sticking out in some fashion. But, like, even if that's the case, who cares? Like, maybe Mickey Mouse has his stupid little head and ears, like, like this, 
Mickey Mouse has his little small head with ears symbol that you see all the time. That's how you know. That's Mickey Mouse. Ha <laughs> ha. Maybe Akai wants her symbol to be the booty. What's wrong? <laughs> What's wrong with the booty? Why? Why you gotta be upset about the booty? <laughs> oh my God! Okay. The time she's always with Sonic. Not only you're making Sonic perverted and shallow, you're also making him out of character. Which it was totally fine for them to do when they were doing it with Amy. Fuck. The point that he's nothing like how you make him when pairing up with Akai. Sonic is this free spirit person who is heroic, have somewhat cocky attitude, brave. But you make him the exact opposite. Instead. So, it's to but again, it's totally fine for people to make the innocent Amy into a slut for their porn. <sighs> or their fan content. I don't know. I don't really watch a lot of Sonic stuff. Ed, oh. You make him a pervert, a coward, shallow, and obsessed with your character, even when he first saw her. And not only that, but you make him more desperate for her in your newest comic. I I'm, I'm almost certain Akai Dahlia was a Twilight fan. It's either that or Twilight just tapped into something really deep in some girls. <laughs> like, goddamn. Convergence of fate. Already in the beginning of the comic, you make him obsessed with her while looking at her being sad. Now, instead of being concerned or wondering if this girl is okay like any normal person would, he's all like, "What? Well, who is that? I want that. <laughs> And since Akai keeps changing her character's personality and never sticks to one, she made her character sad because she wants someone in her life. And she wished that someone would knock her door and change her life. <laughs> and obviously, since Sonic's so obsessed with her at the very first sight, he knocked at the door and she acted all terrified the next minute. But wait a minute, did you just say for one second ago that you wanted that to happen? I... Okay. Oh my- oh my god, that's a lot to unpack. Okay, one, <laughs> apparently it's out of character for someone to be sad. <laughs> apparently, if you're innocent, flirtatious, and or a strong, independent whammon, you're not allowed to be sad, because that's out of character. Um... But also, like, she was wishing for someone to knock on her door and change her life. Um, I'm sorry, did anywhere in that wish say that she specified that she wanted it to be a vampire? Uh, because, you know, that could be reason for her to not be super excited about Sonic knocking on her door and coming into her life. Two, what if Akai is, like, not used to visitors? So, like... Maybe it doesn't matter that she was wishing that earlier. One, just because you're wishing it doesn't mean you expect it to fucking happen. So why are you fucking shocked that she's like, oh, who's at my door? But like, yeah, what if she doesn't get a lot of visitors? What if like someone coming to her door in general is a weird occurrence? Maybe the fact that like somebody was behind her surprised her. Like if she just came through the door. There are so many reasons Akai could be nervous or surprised about why someone is knocking on her fucking door that don't just apply to, well, she wished for it earlier today, so obviously she expected it to happen. Why is she shocked? Oh my god. You think she would sort of be curious about it? Or wonder if this guy could possibly be the one that could change her life? She doesn't even know that it's a guy out there. She just knows that somebody knocked on her door. Oh my god. But instead, she gets scared about something that she asked for. And then when Sonic sees a kind close- No, something that she wished for. To nobody. She was thinking about it in her head. Stuff, aka, or body. The first thing he was thinking- Like, you don't expect something that you think about in your head to actually happen. That's why they're inner thoughts. Anyone would. I mean, I get unless 
you're sure of something, but usually when someone's just passively wishing for something in their lives, they don't expect for it to just happen like that. That That's fucking weird. ...that a guy is so wonderful for me because of her body, and she can give me lots of kits. I don't know if that's... I feel like that's not actually <laughs> what was written there. He becomes so desperate for her that all he does is tell her lies about the fact that he's a vampire, since Akai is a vampire hunter in the story. And when Akai was about to show Sonic her weapon, he face looked just like a typical cowardly boy, and he doesn't help when he was telling her that he's a vampire hunter too. Couldn't he at least act calm about it, just so he won't get caught? Then later on in the comic, Akai automatically, without putting a scene to it, Automatically. Uh, yeah, <laughs> why is it bad for... <laughs> A guy to show visual indicators that Sonic is nervous about the situation. <laughs> like, because he's not, like, hiding it well enough? I mean, clearly he's hiding it well enough from a guy. She's not picking it up. Maybe we're just seeing, like, what Sonic is seeing of a guy from this angle. So she looks, like, all terrifying now because she's mentioned that she's a vampire hunter. And now he doesn't see her as just, like, a fragile thing. He's like, oh shit, this woman could actually probably kill me. Fuck. But let Sonic stay for the day while making a bet for him. And then when she was about to sleep herself, he all of a sudden looked sad and thought, I need you. And he said this for someone he just met. There's a scene where he gets an urge to- Wait. Oh my god. <laughs> so, it's- <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I can't even- I can't even fucking- can't even fathom this like i get it it's not great writing because it's somebody's self-insert fantasy comic but like why does this matter by the kai but because he loves her so much he can't bring himself to do it so he runs into another room and hides and what does he do to cure this urge why he cuts himself with a knife and drinks his own blood of course i mean it's not like he can bite himself with his own fangs or anything. <laughs> so, if he wants blood from other I people- mean, maybe his vampire skin can't be pierced by vampire fangs. Maybe that's why vampires don't just go sucking on each other all the time. Who knows? It could be an evolutionary thing. Well, he bites them. But if he ever wants his own blood, he uses a knife to cut himself. Yeah, I'm pretty sure vampires don't work like that. After all that, she decided to make food for him. I, I feel I feel the need to cite like one of my really early commentaries. The fucking ghosts don't exist. Vampires don't exist. Vampires are whatever the fuck Akai says they are for the sake of her story. Like there are so many different versions of what vampires are. This is like China has hopping vampires for Christ's sake. I watched actually a very, very good movie. I forget what it's called, uh, with vampires taking over, like, a block building. It was, it was interesting. Um, and then, like, the strain vampires are not the same as, like, Nosferatu from the early 20s movie or whatever. Ugh, have you ever, or, <laughs> have you ever seen, black? I keep meshing two comics, comments together. Best vampire are the ones with straw teeth. Um, yes, yes. There are lots of renditions of vampires, actually. There's some who are, like, actually bothered by the sun, and then others that just don't deal with that at all. Uh, you got... Like I said, the strain vampire, you got early, early Nosferatu shit. Uh, you got the Twilight va yeah, Twilight vampires, they're not bothered by the sun, they just fucking glitter. <laughs> like, vampires are whatever you want for the sake of your narrative. Vampires do not have to be, like, one thing and one thing only. That's ridiculous. When he was done eating, she was about to clean up the leftovers. But then she happened to trip, and Sonic caught her and she made him have a moment. But then the very next page, everything went back to normal, like it had never happened. She just skipped the scene. And later on, Akai gave Sonic a cookbook for him. What, what, what do you mean, what scene did she skip? Like, were you... 
were you expecting them to like start making out? Like, isn't the te isn't the tension in romance comics the like, will they, won't they? Oh no, she fell into his arms. Oh, it's so romantic. But they're not ready to confess their feelings for each other yet, so they just, oh, I'm sorry, and they turn and they they clean up the material. Blah blah blah. Like, it it doesn't help that like they're clearly cutting stuff out. And you can't tell if what they're cutting out is necessary for us to understand the plot because we can't see the whole comic. <coughs> him to read. And just him looking at a picture of lasagna that he just ate made him out of nowhere determined about telling her the truth. So he goes to her room, want to tell her the truth, and he sees her being upset about something. And also, she's revealing while being upset about something, and she doesn't even think that she has a stranger in her house, which happens to be a guy. She explains to him that she's upset about the death of her parents, and all he had to say in response to that was- Like, I, I, can't, I can't even say anything in response to that. Yeah, it's weird to, to be in something revealing when there's, like, some stranger in your house that you're just letting them crash there. Uh, but it's also a romance comic, so I don't fucking care. Maybe we were destined to meet, just because he said he had lost his parents, too. The way Sonic puts it, it's like Akai herself just randomly made up the whole dead parents story just as an excuse to get them together, what? not because it's her character's actual backstory. What? Because in her character's profile, it says nothing about her parents being dead. Oh my god. And then Akai just suddenly feels better and agrees with him, saying, You restore my faith! You're so unique! <laughs> Again they just met and then the whole scene leads them to kiss out of sonic just wants a kite for a body and a car loving sonic for no reason except we're destined to meet but they never got the chance to kiss because the vampire hunters showed up and once again okay, I wait so earlier you <laughs> earlier you were getting on her ass because she was wishing for a guy to come into her like life and change everything but when the door just randomly was started knocking, you were fucking... It's weird that she doesn't, like, think that that's exactly what's happening. Uh, but now that, like, she's accepting that she's starting to get really into this guy who just came into her life and is changing things... That's bad? <laughs> what? 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 what Maybe Akai is a hopeless romantic who's also socially awkward. Oh, I completely believe that. It sounds like most artists at that age. Akai thinks it's so necessary to make a character show off her butt. So then Sonic, who has shown that he's just a coward for Akai's hammer, and the fact that she's a hunter herself, just randomly kidnaps her after she finds out the truth about him from the other hunters. Yeah, from paralyzed to fear and nervous looking to randomly got the courage enough to kidnap the person. And Akai herself definitely doesn't portray herself good enough as a vampire hunter when she lets herself get kidnapped. We missed the whole fucking vampire hunter scene. We're just like, oh yeah, the vampire hunters were there, but, and then he kidnapped her. Like, doesn't she like talk to the vampire hunters? Like, these are her people. Like, what the fuck is even going- like, they're clearly cutting shit out. When they were done escaping, Akai felt nauseous and started to throw up, which is no big deal. But what's up with the scene after she's done vomiting? Even after she vomits, she still has to look suggestive. This is just more proof that no matter what she's doing, or what condition she's in, she always shows herself to be a toy. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Um, okay, so the way I was filling that in was she always shows herself to be desirable, and they filled it in as they oh, she always shows herself to be a toy. Who? Okay. Um, I don't know. Maybe she has self con self esteem issues, and she wants to create a fantasy where she's like desirable no matter what happens. I don't know. That's that seems like a really obvious one. After all that, Akai basically was furious about everything Sonic has done and tried to hit him, but he stopped her. Then out of nowhere, remember when I said they never got the chance to kiss? Well, guess what? They kissed! Uh... What the fuck? Thanks. Just 
Maybe Give me a few seconds for me to regain myself after all this. Yeah. So, what were we talking about again? Oh yeah, the comic. And the kiss. Your turn, Amy. And she looked like she enjoyed it, too. And then, for no reason, she just passes out with no explanation why. Um, guys? Like the title says, this is just part one of our personal thoughts of Akai. Part two is gonna show up very soon. I hope you guys can stay tuned for it. And if anyone has been eagerly waiting for a per I thought this was your personal thoughts on Akai. Why were we just going through one of her comics? Akai is not her comic. So, are you indicating that... <laughs> Fucking... Just... It, it's weird that they say it's just their personal thoughts on Akai when going over her artwork, because her artwork is not her. Which means, if they are, so are associating her artwork as being, uh, like, in tune with, or like, oh god, words are hard so close to Akai that they can say that the artwork is just their opinion on Akai, then wouldn't that mean that insulting her artwork is insulting Akai? That thing that they said that they weren't doing? They were just showcasing their opinion on, like, her art and the things that she's done, but, like, calling her character a slut and all that stuff? Uh... Personal thoughts rant, we're sorry for the delay, but I'm pretty sure that part 2 won't take as much longer to make as part 1 did. But I hope you guys enjoyed what we've got so far, we hope you like or liked it. Hey guys, this is Sonic93, this is part 2 of our second update event of Akai Delia, and we're gonna continue where we last left off. And if there's anyone out there who are watching this but haven't watched part 1, I suggest you to take a look at it so you can catch up to what we're gonna talk about. Last thing we mentioned in part 1 was that Sonic kissed Akai despite what happened between them and she for no reason just passed out. Then Akai finds herself at Sonic's house. They were kept talking about everything that's happened to the point that Sonic does something that is way off and what he does doesn't prove him nothing but caring for her body. And what does he do, you might ask? He proposes to her. <laughs> even after everything he put her through. And then he's... Oh, this is speedrunning Twilight. He's only known her for two days, but who cares? I mean, the only reason he wants her is because of dad body, but he's proposing. Oh, joy. Like, if this isn't the most obvious fucking self-insert shit ever. <laughs> Aww, that makes him the most sweetest guy you've ever met. I love you. And Akai's response to his proposal didn't make things better. You'd expect her to be, like, very shocked, but in a way that she would think, like, he has the nerve to propose to me after everything he has done to me? Oh no, God. it seemed like, for Akai, Sonic, for some reason, made it up for her by wanting her as a wife and have a beautiful <laughs> giant ring. If you thought Sonic was shallow before, wait until you hear his reason why he really wants to marry her. He wants her to have his baby so he can save his species from dying out. How romantic. And when he did explain it to her, all she did on one page, she was blushing, like it looked like she was flattered. Then in the next one, she's like questioning his proposal and gets like, have you forgotten what you've done to me? Like she did it just for a second ago! And explain what he has done to her, as if she made it clear for him that she wouldn't do it for him. Okay, Akai and the character herself, it's completely fine for a stranger who have been proposing to you for no other reasons but for your body who have been kidnapped you, lie to you, lusting over you, even though you're not trying to be suggestive. Just making your butt stick out is enough for him to pay attention to you. But the moment he brings up babies, she's like, nope. And then rejects the proposal <laughs> and throws out the ring. Even though she said it was so beautiful and looked flattered about it, this guy is a complete stranger, and she has no idea that he wants to use her until he says that he wants her to have his children. Sonic gets all upset about it, and then Akai demands him to take her home. 
Then he said that he can't because he made a special barrier around the house against hunters, but he himself can't escape through it. Two things that I don't understand. One, why would you make a barrier around your own house that you cannot escape from yourself? Two, if that's the case, how is he supposed to remove something that he can't escape from? It doesn't really make sense, since he never said if there was a time limit to it or if he could remove it himself. Then, when Akai realizes she can't escape, she cries all about it and yells, I want to get out! But then she looks at Sonic with an angry face, runs towards to him, and Sonic looks like he didn't know what to do, and looked cowardly again. And when Akai approaches to him, guess what she does next? Well, she brutally beats oh, him. Even better. Seriously. Violently punches him until he bleeds, and he doesn't even bother to defend himself. Akai doesn't get hit once, not even a scratch and she beat him with only two punches. Apparently, Akai knows karate moves and have a hammer, but she didn't even bother using neither of them when she neither got kidnapped nor beating up Sonic, or even trying to escape from him when she did get kidnapped. No! What does she do? Slap! And what does she do to show her rage? Punches! Akai is supposed to be the victim what? here. Wait, does she have her hammer with her? I thought he kidnapped her in the middle of the night in her PJs. What? <laughs> yeah, reminder, while this is bad takes, a lot of us thought that these were good points, which, well, yeah. The, the early art ranting community was... It was really just a lot of bullying. Since she's the one who gets kidnapped, but because she's so overpowered, it just makes Sonic look weak and defenseless, like he's the victim instead. Once again, Akai changes her character's personality by making her look threatening while holding Sonic's chest and he looks like he's in pain. And in the next panel, I hate you! All cry like a baby and then runs out of the room. This page makes her look like a victim. Yeah, because maybe she realized that, like, he's the guy who trapped her in there, so one, if anyone's going to be able to get her out, it's going to be him. And that's only if he wants to. Uh, cause otherwise, like, she doesn't know that if she kills him, then the, the, uh, what do you call it? The force field will dissipate. She just knows that he made a force field that she is completely trapped inside, and she can't get out. So, like, she's, <laughs> she's upset that she's trapped alone in this place with only one person, but why would she also then turn to kill that one person? That's like her only human inter- Like the only human interaction she currently knows that she can have. And it's her captor. Like, <laughs> why would she not be upset by this? Them again, although two pages ago, she was just fine defending herself when she was mad, but she cannot defend herself when she gets kidnapped. But instead, she lets herself get kidnapped and do nothing about it. So after getting beaten by her, Sonic decides that he feels guilty about what he has done to her, and that he just wants her to be happy. But why is he just suddenly thinking of this now? Also, wait a minute. You said earlier that Sonic wasn't fighting back, so maybe the reason she was able to beat his ass was because he wasn't fighting back. Like, he's already indicated he wants no harm to come to her. Why would he fight back? If he really cares about her, don't you think he should have thought of this before asking for kids? Or proposing so quickly? Yeah, it sounds like he's a fucking idiot. And if he really meant it, why did he even bother to put her into this mess in the first place? Also, wants her to be happy at her expense? He doesn't even know her! And no surprise that the comic gets worse and worse by each page. But before it was confirmed, it looked like Sonic still wanted to take advantage of Akai despite what he said, and basically wanted to rape her. But a few pages later, everything was a nightmare, although I kind of lost for it in the dream, and when she wakes up! Here's what? what happened with this whole thing. At first we thought that Sonic was really raping her in the story. What? A lot of other people thought so too, and obviously since it's rape, one of the worst things that could ever happen to someone, people won't like it, so Akai got attacked for it. Then one day, she decided to change it so that this rape scene was actually just a nightmare that her character was oh having. Oh my god. Although she was still blushing about So, Akai has a non-con kink. And people... Oh, fuck. 
Jesus Christ. Oh, God. But, it, but again, she still drew rape. So nightmare or not, it doesn't change anything. People still won't like it. And now, not too long ago, she removed the whole scene completely from the story and replaced it with her character having a nightmare about being pregnant by him. He wasn't a rapist in this dream, but she made him this strange creepy guy who's still showing that he's just taking advantage of her. So abusive. It's most likely that she only removed the original scene so people would leave her alone. But doesn't Akai say that she doesn't care what people think about her, that she can do whatever she wants? But come on, Akai. You should have saw that coming anyway. It's rape. People will not- oh My god. Okay, one, we've already seen that these guys aren't showing us the full extent of the comic, so we can't fully make a determination on it. <clears throat> As seen with the whole vampire hunters that we never actually saw in this video, but I know they existed. Um... <laughs> oh my, my, so I'm sorry, my brain is frying. I can't even think properly. Uh, so it's bad for her it, to remove the rape scene that everybody was getting really upset over because she can do what she wants, blah, blah, blah. Like, I guess it's bad for you to change your mind. Um, fuck, I had another point. Oh, God, I can't, I can't even, I can't even think with these two. Water, soothe me. For all we know, this is how she dealt with her trauma, like some people put their trauma into their art. That is a possibility. Uh, I don't want to make any assumptions about... You know, Kai's life, that's... It's just... Uh... Plus, like, oh yeah, we don't know to the extent of, like, what these guys have cut out in terms of what they're showing us. So, for all we know, the rape is a part of Kai's nightmare and always was intended to be a part of the nightmare, but people got upset about the fact that rape was included in the story, so Akai just removed it. Like, we can't see the full context as to how this was going on, so how are we to infer that that wasn't how it was intended to be? Fun fact, you don't need a trauma to enjoy a kink, exactly. Yeah, my brain has become fucking soup. Uh, just pointing it out here could had been reasonable and be like let's say it's not and she wanted to explore that kink yep <sighs> also why are they mad about her having a nightmare nightmares are supposed to be bad I don't fucking know I guess it's just the fact that she showed the bad nightmare <sighs> not react kindly to that besides isn't this a romance comic don't you know what rape is it's definitely not something done out of love, and it's not romantic in any way. And this new nightmare is just showing more proof that Sonic is just using her for his own needs. Like, a, like fucking early romance shit used to portray love as being pretty fucking rapey. Like, you look back at, like, old 60s movies with the black and white shit, where everybody talked like this. <laughs> and, and like, the girl will, will be like, no, I don't want anything to do with you. Ugh. And then she, she tries to push him, and but, like, when she's pushing him, he grabs her arm and pulls her in close and, like, holds her tightly so she can't move. And then, kiss, like, forcibly kisses her. And, like, the, the piano and, and violins, like, swell in the background like it's supposed to be fucking romantic that he just assaulted this woman please somebody's like shocked that a woman a, a girl potentially growing up in an environment where she saw that shit maybe then put it into her artwork like it was fucking normal <laughs> ah I don't understand why you're gonna make these two get together <laughs> 
I'm not saying that I like the old- I don't understand why you're shipping your self-insert character with your favorite Sonic character. Nightmare better. That one was definitely a lot worse than this one. But both of the nightmares show that Akai herself only makes Sonic want her character for her body, not because he actually loves her. I have no idea why she does this. I guess because this is what she thinks love is. So what are our final thoughts on this comic? It's rushed. It makes no sense. Both Akai and Sonic keep changing personalities. Akai's character is too Mary Sue-ish. Oh Sonic gosh. himself is too out of character. And vampires do not work that way. What makes this comic worse is that there's so many scenes that makes less sense more or less. Like Sonic cut instead of bites himself in order to get his blood out. And for what reason did he do that for? To save her for someone he just freaking met! Two things that have problems with that scene. One, why would you risk your life so bad not to mention you're a vampire and she can expose you to the vampire hunters for someone you don't even know? And you're only with her in your expense. Just love at first sight. Ta-da! To say you're specious, not because of her herself. Two, why would you think his own blood, not anyone else's, would distinguish his thirst for blood? Why is it that there are scene skips? Whenever Akai herself does this, she does it on scenes that involve big moments. So it just makes the scene look out of place and have no point of being there. Yeah, it kind of just sounds like Akai is not super great at detailing out of climactic situations, so she just ignores them. <laughs> like, you, you literally just answer that with, Akai is not great at writing stories yet. Another problem with the comic is sometimes how she draws Akai. Not only she looks like Amy Rose regardless how she draws oh her, she has multiple of times made pages look so sketchy that sometimes it looks like she's topless. Although she puts more detail into butts and boobs because those parts are so important to put effort in it. I now mean, apparently they are to Akai. <laughs> like, also, I'm sorry, how is that putting a lot of effort into the boobs? Like, that. That's six lines. That's putting a lot of effort into the boobs. Lied. It was two people kissing. <laughs> it's two ducks kissing. Oh my god, fucking end me. She put so much thought and time and effort into the butts and boobs. It's not like they could just as fucking sketchy as the rest of this shit. Now, Akai fans, before you're trying to start defending your queen oh by god. saying, But the breasts are not so big! I'm not referring to the breast size. I'm referring to no matter how sketchy Akai's body looks like, she always draw neither boobs or butts more detailed. Like, that's the first thing you gotta notice Except when you look- the, the page where you just showed us which she didn't draw- I, I'm sorry, didn't you just ask how she ended up that fucking- Like, why it looks like she's not wearing any clothes? But- That's that's her putting a lot of effort into making the boobs look detailed. Like I can I can see that there's more sketch work around her her fucking face. I wh what what are you talking about? Hello. Tabora, did you want to come up on the bed? To butts and Hi, baby. Hi. Can I come get you? Ah. Hello, baby. What are you up to? What are you doing? You want to be real sleepy? I'm going to go in there, Chief. There's more water in my jug in there. Let me go. Do I go for walkies? Oh. Is that what she wants? I think that's what she wants. Oh, Devoda, you're so good. Eleven? It's eleven. You want to go for walkies at eleven? Oh, my God.
There's been a butt on my screen this whole time. <laughs> like it. Uh... Okay, guys. I think Demona wants to go for walkies. So we're going to take a break. I'll. I'll be back. I have to go take the baby for a mini walk. Uh, for anybody who hasn't had their dinner yet, please go do that in the meantime. Eat something. Food is important. And I will see you when I return from giving to her walkies. Be please give yourself a break. That's what walkies are for. But